There we go. Why, hello. Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. It's Tuesday, December 26th. It's the day post-Christmas, if you're wondering. Boxing Day. Is that what it's called? Everybody returns boxes? Everybody burns their boxes. We're a box-burning family over here. Yeah, you are. Basically, basically, net neutral carbon. I'm cardboard. I'm very sure you made that up. It's very close. It's very close to net neutral. Why don't you just recycle? I mean, you know where I live. If you think a recycling truck passes this space. We got recycling. Dang, we ain't got it. There's no way we got it. Here, here's what it looked like the other day. All my boxes. Where there's Is that boxes. by the road? Those That's are all by full, the road. full of other boxes mm-hmm. on top of boxes. Just full of boxes. So a and different my recycling truck. thing is full. A different truck comes and gets those on. Yeah, because that was trash. How obnoxious. But they need two trucks. You know what? You're doing the environment harm. They're driving two trucks around. I bet you, Peppa Cat. We can see Peppa Cat snugging. I didn't see Peppa Cat. I didn't see any cat. Now that well, I didn't expect to see the, the secret cat. The one cat might as well be a felon in witness protection at this point. But I did not see Peppa Cat the other day. Mm. I didn't even hear Peppa Cat. I did expect to hear Peppa Cat. I can turn my brother-in-law off of Netflix. <laughs> New device just logged in, huh? <clears throat> Um, no, Peppa Cat, she, she'll hide from you. She didn't, she didn't like to see you guys. Peppa's a little bitch. Um, but yeah, I had a fun fun one, backed into the garage and went, it smells like gas in here. Which is weird because I didn't smell it yesterday. Yeah. Mind you, I didn't like go out in there. Heater but... was turned off. Mm-hmm. The um, valve was shut. Sure. The tank uh, was all the way shut down. Went, not good. Gabby goes, it just smells like that out here. I go, that's not what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, it didn't. She's like, it's just got to be baked in or something. I was like, nope, you should not be smelling. So the brand new drywall? Yeah. Brand new? Yeah. It should not be like drywall. Went over there, picked up, or disconnected the tank, picked it up. You can hear a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, I haven't even had that yet. Have it? Uh, nope, I have not. A little bit of gas of. leaking out of the fucking tank. So I go, well, that's fun. Continued to unpack the car. Brought it back to the store. The guy goes, how can I help you? I said, I just, return- I just um, got two tanks last week. One of them is leaking. My garage just fully smelled like gas. He goes, what do you want to do? I go, I would like to re- return it. What are I my go, options? I, I, just, I want a new one. I'll pay for a new one. I don't care. And he goes, I don't want it. I go, that's weird because I'm not taking it. Or I'd like, it's not going back home with me. I sure. said something along these lines because I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not putting that back in my garage. What, what, what do he you goes, think you thought the options were? Buddy, I'm going to leave it on the curb. Yeah. Drive away. Skeet skirt. There's one to two of them. See ya. You know what I mean? And the guy goes, I'm going to have to call the boss. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, he goes, do your fucking job. Just let him take a new one and leave it outside. Oh my gosh. Where is this? No. Oh, yeah, it's okay. not a BP. Oh, all right. Oh, it's a gas station. Yeah. Oh, you got a gas station employees right now. Yeah. He's like, I don't care. What do you want to do about it? Yeah. Like that was. He what, didn't give a fuck. Yeah. He's like, I don't, buddy. Cool, man. Set it somewhere and leave. Yeah, I don't know if there's a seal, um, uh, or what. I tried to mess with it a little bit, but uh, it just, I don't know if it's leaking out of the actual like fitting part. It was just, it was just leaking. Gabby said. <laughs> Gabby said. Unsealed, unpainted drywall, which is true, but it is taped. And mudded. And mudded. Yes. So in theory. It's not going to just reek of more captains. Gabby, it is interesting that you were okay with the gas smell, though. I do feel like this is what. She just thought it was like from the heater. I thought like a little bit had leaked out and it was just taking some time to like push around. Yeah. And then when we came back, I go, oh, nope, that's still here. Yesterday when I was over there, I just peeked my head in real quick because I just want to see it. And I was like, oh, it looks great. And, like, I didn't walk into it. I just opened the door, looked up, you know, looked around. I was like, oh, cool. And then Golfing I went back. Simulator's gonna I be didn't smell it, though, on which the back is wild. There. Oh, Gabby said she wasn't okay with it. She never was. She's oh, never okay. okay with anything. You made it sound like she was okay with it. She was, you made it sound like she was like, oh, oh. just go inside. She was like, no, we'll be fine. She's like, that's normal. <laughs> that's not, Her words. You're supposed to smell gas when you come home. Now, I will say, if you walk by the front of the distillery on, on the right time of day, you'll get a whiff. Oh yeah, you'll get a whiff because yeah. there's a big gal out in front of that 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 shack there. But Jonathan Pettis, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's, Dan and Sean Thanks, from buddy. Me and the Kid Felicity. Long time hey. since I've been able to catch a live stream. Cheers! Thanks, buddy. Appreciate Thanks for it. making it, buddy. I and that's Dan's well. favorite name. Merry Christmas. 
Gabby said, I said, I for sure should not be breathing this. May it's I, just like a little bit of methylmercaptan. You'll be fine. I think it was more the pitch that you were like, Gabby just said, let's go to sleep. And you were like, this is a huge problem. And she was like, no, it's not. That's how it came yeah, across. Yeah, that's exactly how it was. That's how the, 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 the exact conversation was. It was yeah. like you were there. It's weird, dude. That's crazy that she would respond that way. Well, that's why I had everything oh, off. Because sure, I was yeah, like, yeah. that's weird. I thought yeah. it was just leaking out yeah. a little bit. I was like, oh, how no. big are these tanks? Just 20 pounders. Oh, little gals. Yeah. Well, we haven't had winter, so I haven't really had to throw a lot of heat in the garage yet. It's been great. This has been a fantastic Michigan winter. I've not been a Michigan winter. That's why it's been great. You you put up the video of at the distillery. We had snow one time. Yeah. I forgot about that. One time. Yeah. That was for the day, too. It wasn't it was the, there the next day. And it's been 55, which has been nice. Today was 55. Yesterday was like 52 or something in the sun yesterday. Great. Fantastic. So, um, all right. Here's what we're going to do tonight, guys. There's some news that I don't think you know about that well, we could talk about. That's very kind to say, Kyle. He said uh, the, the, junk, the backbone picks were two favorites. For one, there. Listen, I haven't um, opened my uh, mm. bottle of Sean's pick is over there. I haven't retried it. I haven't opened yours it either. While we were there, um, I was very tempted to post a Patreon video from Sean's basement yesterday of me just chugging his his stash. I would go into your house and I didn't and I didn't open bunker bottles. I, I won't even drink them. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> just open them. I'm not saying I didn't. Drink everything. What I'm saying is I didn't post a video of it. So what'd you drink? Um, I didn't actually drink anything. What I did do I was find open, that hard to believe. Swear to God, swear pinky promise. I did open one bottle. You want to know which one it was? Figured my whatever was left of any of the rhetoric or barter house that I had. I, thought I think barter house gone. is gone. Yeah. I think there might be some rhetoric twenty still. Uh, I didn't do that. Oh. It would be fun to if barter house was still there, but she's gone. My wild turkey twelve years sitting right there. I didn't do that. I did open, um, <laughs> out of everything on all those shelves, I opened Dara's rare character pick. It's great. Took a nice whiff of her. Yeah. It smells fantastic. Good. I was like, I'm not drinking right Put now. Put a real so I didn't dent take a in drink that bottle. Um, well, that was the other thing I'd like to discuss with you. It's <laughs> low. <laughs> it's real low. The sun's getting low, <laughs> big guy. It's a really good Dude, pick. Dude, Dara's rare character pick in Sean's basement. Almost gone, yeah. It is low. Uh, it's a third full. Roughly, yeah, maybe give or take, yeah. not by don't give much. You could take a little. Um, Paul Santini, thank you for the super chat, buddy. Have a toast for my little one having a successful double ear tube surgery this morning. Nice. As Dan said previously, Leonardo is a strong ass ninja turtle. Cheers to you, buddy. Oh, yeah, buddy. I love that, dude. Thank you for the happy news. Thank you for sharing with us. I'm so happy that you guys can move forward. I hope there's no stress involved in the next yeah. steps for you guys. I love to hear it. Plus, quality of life when most kids get tubes go way up for them. Why? Get like ear well, infections and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. fair. Um, Adam McIntyre. You're welcome for nailing that first try. McIntyre? No, because it's got the E's. It's a whole thing, dude. And it's it's Adam's first super chat ever. There's a cookie balloon and a one. Yep. Thank and you, And then buddy. it said, hey, dudes, my first super chat ever. Didn't get there yet, but <laughs> thank you. Three things. <laughs> One. Thank you. Both backbone picks are incredible. Thank you. Two. Can't wait to pick up my bourbon. Three tomorrow. Love that. And then three. Stoked to support my the future whenever the journey goes. Hell yep. yeah, buddy. We're working. Thank you for being there. Um, thank you for being supportive too. Seriously, that's that's awesome. Uh, you, like, so where's the uh, uh, the jerky? Oh, okay. So we're gonna play a game tonight, real quick on the docket. Uh, we could discuss. There's new news that I think you'll find very interesting. That I'm almost 100 percent sure you won't know yet. Uh, cause I just found out tonight and it has nothing to do with you or I probably breaking news then distillery news, not oh. our, dis- not our thing. It's somebody else's, someone anyways, else's distillery. Um, it's a legacy one. So anyways, that happened and then we'll discuss that. I'm going to drink this black backbone. I'm going to try the Sonoma finish. Uh, I haven't had it. You've yeah. Had it. You opened it. it at Christmas, shared it with a couple people. It's this, it's this one. Yeah. It's the new one. I found that, um, well, we can talk about that and the other bottle I picked up. Yep. So that's going to happen. I have to tell you a story from something that happened at HQ. Okay. You'll love the story. What did you hit with a hammer? Nothing. Fork with truck. A hammer. What did you hit with the fork truck? So anyway, so some stuff. And it's going to cool. cost, definitely going to cost us money. So, uh, and then, not to give you anxiety before we get to the rest of the stuff. How then much Then we're going to play a game from Dustin and Kelly because they sent us a gift box, which segues into Sean's snackies. Okay. Missing snackies. One of them... Sean's missing two snackies. Dustin and Kelly sent us each a bottle of wine. 
Dustin Kelly sent us each a bag of coffee. Yep. Um, coffee's pretty good. It's um, barrel aged coffee. Waiting on the wine um, until Gabby has our our child, and then we can enjoy that together. Um, and then they also sent us almond brittle cookies. And I got cookies. Beef jerky. I'm missing two. Sean is missing brittle and jerky. I. She goes, you get that jerky? I was like, yeah, where's the jerky? She goes, well, how about the almond brittle? I go, I feel like you're fucking with me now. <laughs> yeah, I, saw, I, I scrolled back up because I'm like, where did this start? So because then I thought, well, the but that box, I had opened it. Uh, we th- Mind you, there's never been a bigger box delivered to this house oh, yeah. ever. Yeah. And that box, okay. it was literally, I, I, you could have fit a, a small human in it. Wayfair sent it with the very expensive stuff I heard. Easy Wayfair. So anyways, um. This box is humongous. Well, the box sat on the kitchen counter because Dustin was like, hey, you need to get the cookies out of it. Obviously. So I opened it. You took the cookies out. Yeah. Well, I unpacked the food stuff. I assume it got taken care of. Somebody cleared the other jerky. I will say that. It wasn't me. So your son? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I figured. He crushed it, too. Yeah, that's fine. uh, So I owe Sean a pouch of jerky, and uh, the almond brittle is still unfound. So... Also, have your to, son. Have to figure that one out. Atkins said, uh, thanks, Sean, for overturning my distillery ban. Dan banned him. Well, I unbanned him. Right. Yep. Sean's about to take a leave of absence. You're reband in, in Sean's absence. Um, You're fine. Just go then, in there. <laughs> so, uh, Brandon will let you in. Oh, damn it. Wait, is Brandon Team Aaron? Nothing like crushing a bag of jerky. It was good. It was uh, he's, good he's chaos, though, and Brandon, you're not true. Team That's Aaron, true. So actually, therefore, he is now Team Aaron. I am actually Team Aaron. Mm. Unfortunately, in in um, spurts, some would say, because Team Aaron is a traitor. Yeah, we know now. He's Team Sean. That he's a traitor. For everyone that watched and continued to support me during Advent, I'd like to apologize to absolutely <laughs> fucking nobody. Everybody. Okay. Now here's the thing. Let's we're gonna clarify this, and this will be spoiler alerts because now you know Sean won. But there's you know the video you, came out yesterday. If you didn't watch the video, now you, what you need to know is I'm not even mad about losing Advent, and I swear to God I'm not. I am very mad. I was very mad. We, that video was probably shot two and a half weeks ago or something. Yeah, I was actually mad that I could have somehow lost proof. That's true. Yeah. I was that pissed me off. Other listen. If that advent was close and I lost to Sean, I'd have been bummed for sure. Never up, never mad though. Lost my five. I didn't lose my five. Lost my five. I didn't lose my two. It's crazy that you're gonna say that I lost my five. Yeah. If I didn't pout last year, it could have been two years in a row for me. No. Yeah. No, it couldn't have. Yeah. Now here's what I now now what the thing that needs to be revisited is the reason we added these comeback things was so Sean could stay in the game. Right? We did do these things for Sean. We know we did. It's a thing. We tried to make it fair. We gave Sean a 16 I mean, handicap two years in a row. Realistically, 16. It was only 12 last year, too, I think. No, because we did the, um, oh, we did the list of bottles, didn't mm-hmm. we? And we just didn't have the list. We still did bottles this yeah. year. We both just, just shit we just, the yeah. bed. Yeah. Well, I told Dan, if we would have spent more than sub 18 minutes for the entire 24 videos, sure. we might have got one. Yeah, Luke will just, uh, heavily skew it towards you. Uh, no, he won't. If there's somebody that will be on, well, it'll be for be it'll there. be skewed for proof, more so than anything. Well, That's the only thing you can really just making it absolute would have been skewing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or making it. But if it was like fair. more points for closer, you are. Oh sure. Like well, okay. You did a lot now better on proof than I, I did this I year. I will have to say if we do that, but with I did proof, better on a total. We do have to do that with age or something as well. Like we need something to even those. There needs to be two things where you can get more than one point. Yeah. If we're doing something yeah. that's worth more than one point. We said it was total proof. Which would break our over-under, unfortunately. And Chris you know says, I, mean? I am hashtag team spurts. <laughs> Jimmy, mother spurts. effing Copeland. Dude, I was like, what? Or it is spurts. With the 20, he said, Thank you, help with structural engineer. Thank Huge you. Huge shout We do need out. to get one of those. Huge shout out, Jimmy. Huge shout out to our boy, Jimmy. He's doing great things for us. God's, God's we, work. Jimmy won a Buffalo Trace pick in the SBS program. Got a little text message. Goes, hey, buddy, you want to make this Buffalo Trace pick a bourbon junkies pick? Yeah. And I said, you're damn right I do. So we have a Buffalo Trace pick. Thanks to Jimmy Copeland. Either our pick's not even in. Jimmy yeah. Copeland delivers a Buffalo Trace That'll pick. That'll be in, like, next Freaking awesome. year. No, it's already scheduled. Well, yeah, technically, yes, it will be next year. Whiskey um, Trek said, can't stay to hang with the in-laws. Love you much. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for being here. Jonathan Pettis with the 20th Super Chat said, when is the next drop for Virtue? 20. 20, that's cool. 
Um, we haven't talked about what we're gonna do with the remaining. I don't know yet. Americans I don't know I that we it. just dropped last Friday. It's a distillery only right now. Yep. We might send some to DC and drop those through, and then realistically after that, the next drop will be the grand opening blend, right? Why not? You want well, to do something before that? I wanted to do a barrel proof bourbon before then. I just don't know about it though. I think it'll be. Um, I'd like to do a barrel proof bourbon drop to. Oh, I forgot. It's only well, it's just the beginning of January. So the the grand opening blend is the end of February. So yeah, yeah. we might get another bottle in there before. I then. would like to do a barrel proof bourbon drop to the patrons, if you know what I'm saying. Pa- um, patrons before the end of Feb. For those that didn't get that. That would be my goal. I would, so January. I would like that. So we're gonna work on something in January. It's going to be pending label is what it's going to be pending because that's still just something that's being slowly worked on. Um, maybe some thieving for grand opening? Yeah. Joe, we were doing that, dude, the other day. People yeah. that came and picked up bottles. Um, we tried Sean's blend that's vatted. That is, uh, for some odd reason, very, very, very cloudy out of the tank right now. Honey. Is that why? There's not that much honey in it, which is the weird part. Like that we how saw war- how warm barrels. are you keeping it in there? Sixty-eight. Mm, I was gonna say maybe some of the um, the fatty acids are chilling out. It's not cold though. I tasted it today. And it's taste? not. Oh, it tastes very good. Okay. Then yeah. I'm honestly, it tastes right now like you just bottled, like it's ready to be bottled. Perfect. So. That's what I like to hear. Uh, um, James Lee said, "What about the um, gorilla tape on the ceiling at Virtue?" What's funny is there's tape on both sides of the ceilings now. What's the other side for? Well, I guess that'd be the um, uh, floor. There's one up there because for the you air quit hose. for the air hose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the There's other one? Where they broke the trim on the ceiling. Oh yeah, I saw that today. Yeah. You know what's funny? Today is the, the first time I saw it. Yeah, it's been there since the day we put that yeah. up. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I saw. In I the got the other then. lights in to. Um, so if you guys oh. saw that, the the lights that went up, we since have changed the uh, the um, warmth. Yeah. Made it a little more daylight yeah. in there. Yes. Um, Matthew Bradford, thank you for the super chat, buddy. Hey guys, saw a bottle of Hazmat Coy Hill in a store near me recently. What do you feel is a fair price for the bottle? Thanks. Were um, those the three seven fives? Probably. Saw a bottle of Hazmat. I don't. That could be either. I didn't. Was the first the three release se- the seven fifties were single barreled. Yeah. The oh 375s yeah. Three were batched. But they yeah, were some of them were Hazmat. Small batch. Yeah. Like if there was ever a time to use the word small batch, that was it. Um. And I'd probably go tree fitty. You want more? I know. I would go if it's a seven fifty. I'd probably go like so. I go high. If it's a three seven five, I would go up to four hundred, uh, maybe four twenty five. I would not go above five hundred. How about that? Cookie Cats said for diapers and structural engineer have them check footings for under columns too. Um. Who wants to just come? Uh, we'll give you a bottle of whiskey. To what? Be a structural engineer and just look at it and tell us how it was. It holds. They charge so much. Sure. We'll give you whiskey. We'll give you two bottles. <laughs> All right. You know what? You can have some of Sean's vat. It's good. You just take whatever you can carry. You can have. Mm. It's like one of those sales. <laughs> just whatever you can carry. Take it. You can carry a lot. Dude, it's like when you see people in the junkyards. Yeah. And they're just hauling a transmission out. Yeah, somehow. it's like the two guys that have yeah. like the mover, like a, a fucking big block Chevy, yeah. just fucking between them. They're just... For sure. How much did you spend on barrels to start the distillery? Uh, to start, Total? well, so far, it's. I mean, the numbers are always going up. Obviously, I mean, I think our first purchase was like eight barrels. Ten. Was it 10? First ever was 10. I couldn't remember. 20% rise and 535 rise from Sagamore. Was that our first purchase, though? Yep, ever. I thought MGP's was MGP first. was after. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Because I was didn't eight. have that broker until after BT and I started working on the wholesale stuff because we had hung out with them okay. and found right. out he That's did fair. that. Um, but the first MGP order was bigger than eight. Has was, James been invited to the Green Open? Yeah, he'll be there. First MGP order from the broker was 20-something because we bought... Light whiskey and bourbon at the same time. Yeah. Um, but it was 10 barrels, and it was... Did you ask how much it cost? Is that how, how much? Um, 20-ish. How much have we spent on barrels? Five, 600-ish? Oh, we're not quite that much yet. Mm, I bet it's real close to five. I would, I would, yep. I would bet it's very close to five. Because my number is about just under five. It's very close to five. Yeah. 
Sun Sagamore $83,000 wire a couple of weeks ago. And that was just for this year of contract distillation. So we have over 160 grand in just contract distillation. Yeah. So, and those were by, those were the cheapest barrels we've ever bought. Yeah. And we're looking to add another contract distillation source in Q1. We spent 50 grand on Barton barrels. Yeah, we're not talking about that. <laughs> we're about to spend more money on Barton barrels. Yeah, I know. Better ones, though. Gotta Better be. ones. Can't be worth. Whoa, dude. Hey. I need to reel chill it, it in, buddy. Ow. I need you to become a professional fisherman on a busy stream right now and reel it the fuck in. Oh, um, that was not a good one. Matthew Miles, Christy, and I had a great time last Friday. Thank it was you a great guys. Time. Thank you guys for hanging out. Always good catching up. Came home with way more bottles than I thought I would. Christmas came early. Cheers. Yeah, you guys bought like six, which is a lot. You guys did a lot. You bought a lot of bottles. Yeah. We appreciate the hell out of you guys. And then, you know, someday this store will know who we are. And then refuse. You think so? Yeah, probably. Why? So I first walked in. So this is a wild turkey generation. Don't be like that. Don't be um, that cat. Haven't seen it yet. And they had that just sitting on a shelf, like not even behind the counter or anything. Wild turkey it was just generation. sitting out. There was a uh, New Gatsby. Um, the Sonoma finish was sitting out, or the Triple Stave or Triple Sonoma, whatever that is. Um, the Woodford uh, Masters Sonoma Collection. Sonoma Triple year. Finish. Um, but anyways, I was in there, and I was like, all right. They had all of the BTAC lineup up behind the counter, a Pappy 20, and a Mr. Sam. Had some crazy bottles. And I go, all right, how much is this? The guy goes, 700. And I go, I'm going to just put that back. <laughs> I'm good. I'm going to just set that right on back. Um, I'd picked up the uh, Masters Collection, and they had a uh, U of M like bottle that had like uh, some oh, that's cool. laser etching on it. Sure. So I, my in laws are giant fans. So I picked that up for them too. And uh, I was like, all right, cool. And I go, I got to ask, how much is the BTAC? He goes, all right, handy, 800. I'm all right. That hurts. George T. Stagg, 1200. That, yeah, that's. WLW. Heading in the wrong direction. $2,000. I wonder what secondary in WLW is right now. Not 2000. Because I think Handy's pretty close to 800. All yeah, right. And then <clears throat> slid over. Goes Bappy 20, 3000. Okay, now we're just, we're just making shit up. <sighs> Mr. Sam, also 3000. I was like, what the fuck? So I talked to Dan. I go, all right, I'm going to go haggle with him. Go in. I go, all right, will you guys move on that bottle price at all? The guy goes, there's only 57 in the state. I go, wasn't the question. You know, yeah, I don't need the lecture. Yeah, you know what and, I don't and need he goes, any information. Man, it's trade and like we're pricing it right around what it's trading right now. And I go, it's not trading that much right now. How much did how much did you say seven? He seven hundred. Okay, I go, it's not trading that high right now. The guy goes, wow, I mean, come on, like you you can't be beating me up. There, like, there's only fifty seven in the state. Still, don't care. I go, um, five fifty. He goes, I. He goes, one sec. Talk to the other guy. He goes, we can't do that. And he goes, six fifty. I go, six hundred. And guy goes six hundred for tax. I go, well, I'm obviously yeah, this, we have to pay tax this here, is buddy. Called legal. That wasn't gonna be one of the options. Like <laughs> six hundred out the door. This is not a <laughs> car sale. Yeah. And the guy goes, I'll do that. The guy goes, let's crack it up right now. I go, five hundred. I'll pour everyone a shot right now. Right. Guy goes, uh, he doesn't drink. I go, so no, not yeah. not on the deal. Yeah, 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 hundred percent on that. Yeah, I go a hundred percent. I'll open it up. Yeah. I don't care. It, it, for 500 we it's can drink a third of it. Yeah, right you know, it's eventually going to get open. Yeah, on the spot, you drink a third of it. So we end up paying 600 for it because I do want one of this. Which is funny because um, I tried to pay 450 or 500 or whatever. They sold these on Wild Turkey's website, yeah. and I got the link from our buddy, and then I went to buy it, and they wouldn't ship it here. Yeah. And so the only reason I didn't get one initially, and I, I hadn't discussed it with Sean, and I was like, this will be like a surprise in a blind, and hopefully we both like it. We hadn't yeah. tasted it at that point. Um, but it was like as a bottle to have for like a releases from the year. This was one of the biggest releases of the year from a legacy distillery, I believe. Um, we have tasted it. Uh, we had it at Justin's House of Bourbon, where you can get it for I think it was literally twenty a pour, which is not that bad yep. for a five hundred dollar bottle of whiskey. Twenty a pour is not I mean, bad. <clears throat> beautiful bottle. First one to have Bruce's signature on it. Yep, it's got all all three of the Russells on yep. there. Um, I mean, it is cool. It's barrel, barrel proof, 120.8. That makes it 
That does make it cool. And then what were the years? So that. it's a 9, 12, 14, and 15-year-old bourbon. So there's like some good age yeah. on there. I think we're going to save this for a little bit and open it for something cool. Is kind of what I pitched to Dan. Because this is probably the Sounds most good. we've uh, spent on a bottle now. It is. It is. Uh, oh, that was the other one. You spent it out of your own pocket. That's why I couldn't remember it. Your dark arts. Yeah. That was only 550. I was like, <laughs> there was another bottle like that. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. what it was. All right. Um, so, every, yeah, every now and then you can uh, deal with people. So I saved 100 bucks. Every that way. buddy in here, Nick Jones, Chris, uh, they all said that WW is 12 to 1400. Okay. So probably 1400. Rob nationally. Miles was beating yeah, me up. He said generations now worth 450. CNF single Rick was way better. Um, I don't. But. Eh, maybe. It might be better. Listen, I, would you say CNF's worth 300? Yeah, I don't know that either of them are worth their MSRP even. Yeah. I think that um, they're cool bottles to have. I, I think this is um, a little bit of history also. Yeah, it is. For it is. What it, it is. Truly um, is. I think that it ramps it up a little bit yeah, for it me. Truly it's is. the only thing. I don't know if the whiskey is quite worth $600, but here um, we are. Luke, normally a bar would not price a pour for the bottle price breakdown for an msrp yeah normally it's it, i think bars are like two and a half to three x normal like that's a very normal ratio i can't remember what it is but it's high six x so and, i mean that doesn't that's not for everything so you gotta sir, figure like a, a shot of jack daniels probably like five six bucks most right. places that's a 20 other bottle for exactly them, yeah that. that's true so it's usually about a 600 percent markup yeah. on liquor um, but obviously you can't do that on a, a straight yeah. scale for higher end stuff. I 100% don't regret buying pours of that at Justin's. Yeah. When I, I asked how much it was first, when he said 20, I was like, pour them. Yeah. Keep them coming. When this glass is empty, I want to see it refilled. I didn't say that part, but he did. Um, and then honestly, it's definitely immediately worth 20. Immediately on that. 20. <laughs> yeah. Dude, what's the tab shit, man? Can I work here for yeah. a little while? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a, it is a very cool bottle. Yeah. I think that the secondary value on that bottle is going to be asinine uh, someday. The, oh, right this then. is a perfect segue. Wild Turkey Generations. Today, it was announced, I think, by Coming Whiskey. I believe that a label has been approved for a new barrel pick program from Wild Turkey. A new one. So they're opening up a new line for barrel picks? Wild Turkey 101s. You know, I actually don't hate Single that. Single barrels. I don't hate that. Dude, doesn't that sound kind of freaking cool? Yeah, because it's like an Especially eagle rare pick at that point it's in time. Maybe 40 bucks. Yeah. Probably somewhere around 40. Oh, I like that. <clears throat> so I saw this. That's today. not what I would have guessed. Right? Yeah. I never, ever would have ever guessed that. No. Let me make, see if it was coming whiskey so he can have credit. Um, I saw this and I was like, well, dude, Kentucky there's Spirit's no going away, way. right? I think Wild I, Turkey Private, private Selection, select. single 101 barrel. I like that. I love it. Love the idea. Um, yeah, dude, 100, 101 proof or 101 picks sound amazing. I'm yes. pretty sure they said that Kentucky Spirit's going away. Oh, I didn't know that. Is yeah. that real? Yeah, I think so. Oh, so this is the replacement. I see. Yeah. Do you think that do, did Kentucky Spirit picks have to be a certain age? I wonder. So Kentucky Spirit was the competitor so. to Blanton's. Yeah. And um. Like Baker's and what's the other single barrel? Maybe Elijah Craig. All the legacies had a single barrel program. The weird thing is, I think weaving. If you would have thought of um, single barrels mm -hmm. in legacy, yeah. you wouldn't have ever thought Kentucky Spirit um, in your brain. I don't think. No, I never. Rare really rate is what I was gonna guess, honestly. Oh, that. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, cool. Because that. Okay. Because I I already, I already knew the. I might have just texted Kentucky that. Spirit was going away. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Um. That's so wild. I figured they might be doing rare breed in in lieu. Oh, how beautiful would that be? Yeah. The problem with man, that would be just so cool though. Why is everybody say my mic's low? Here. It's like almost all the way up. There you go. Now it's all the way up. That's Wait. all she got. Oh, now they're all. Now all they're the way all, up. all the way. Up. They aren't. No like screaming, maxing or peaking or anything. So, um, honestly, Hi, buddy. Kentucky Spirit. The only downside I think to Kentucky Spirit picks where they were like sixty or seventy bucks, and they were like a hundred proof. Yeah. If these are around the one hundred one one hundred one price tag label, if these are thirty five to forty five dollars, then they're a hundred one proof. Because it's a that sounds pay. great. That's why his hairline's so high. Why? 
Hey, Rob, my hairline's higher than you'll ever see on your own two feet. Isn't that interesting to think about? He's got cowboy boots. Right. Oh, Cook, you tore, you little bitch, dude. I did throw away an old bourbon junkie shirt. It was that green one that he clawed up. You remember that? I'm going to leave him outside. What's Why? warm out right now? He hates me outside now. He's so conditioned to his pampered ass lifestyle, dude. Yeah. He just put a hole in my shirt, truly. What an asshole. Yeah, he did. What a what a little jerk, dude. Good job, Cookie. You uh, get a pay extra Kentucky back. Spirits Lower Proof? Is it really? Man. That's so interesting. I need a bourbon school to teach me how to like bourbon. Well, Greg, you just start with ice. If you want to like it, 90 proofer on ice. Just try different ones all the yeah. time and try low proof ones. I just and don't ice is always is a good move. Put that so, near the the edge yeah. of the table. Oh, can you imagine the disappointment? We didn't open it and it broke. Just that'd be licking it off the soul floor. crushing, dude. You just hope that like it landed cat. upright and yeah. we could filter the just glass enough. Out. Yeah. yeah, no, I think I just risk it. That's fair. Any wild turkey pick is a good pick, Chris. Um, I don't know what happened with turkey this year, but they've been non stop dumping Camp Nelson, yeah, which is so interesting. People have been posting the Kentucky spirits, uh, in the tags of what they are, yeah, every one of them has been in Camp Nelson. Maybe they're just full. And they're they're yeah, all they're at that maybe six to purging. eight year range, yeah. and they're just like time to start turning over. I have heard from a lot of people though. Hey, Alec, hope you're doing well. Current, <laughs> Alec, I love you. Um, I have heard from the current people buying Russell's picks that a lot of Russell's picks as of late have been not as good. Kleins is really good. Kleins is very good, but the um the thing is, is like when we were there, we tasted a lot, but yeah. a lot of them are younger now. They are. There's not like 12 and 13s anymore so much. Not even so much 10s. It's like there six are like to eight. nines. Yeah, I was, I'd say the average what I've seen is around eight to nine. Yeah. I don't know if I've seen too many seven-year ones. I mean, when we were there, we tasted some oh, yeah, sixes yeah, yeah. and sevens, yeah. I think. I'm just trying to think of ones that I've seen. I like haven't Meyer seen Meyer has always been cranking those out. Yeah. Like almost every time I go to Meyer, they There's have a one. different one. Yeah. All of them. And a lot of them, Cam Nelson lately, a lot of them. I think they were eighty nine ninety nine though. I think isn't that retail? Yeah. That's how much ours was. Yeah. I think it was ninety. I know. They used to be like fifty five or sixty. And it just makes me a little sad when I see like an eight year Russell for eight ninety nine to hundred. Yeah. Now here's the thing: if you let me try it first, yeah, I might dabble because for a good Russell's pick, I'd pay ninety without a doubt. Some of our favorite Russell's picks, yeah. we'd buy two at ninety bucks each. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, there's a lot of them that we've had that we just wouldn't pay 90 at all for. Yeah. That's the crappy part. So either pick a banger or don't let people taste it. <laughs> oh, but yeah, for like um, nine grand, we could have had most of the B Tech lineup. Well, thankfully, you didn't spend that because we had only somewhere like else to spend. <laughs> it was only like six. So um, now, what'd you hit Speaking at the distillery? Of segways and spending money. We've been good on segways. Yeah, tonight. what'd you hit the, at the distillery, buddy? Okay, I'll. I'll take partial responsibility. Oh. No. Oh. And you, ha you have to be partially understanding. These are our rules on this fine evening. I would like to propose a new solution to when one of us is incorrect about something and the other person is then blaming them for being incorrect about it, okay? I haven't put any blame yet. I know, but you're going to. <laughs> so Bob Does Sports put out a podcast like two or three days ago. Yep. They have this system, and it's hands up. It's hand up, Um, what's it called? Save okay. at least four, four for... I got game. four. Okay. Yep. You want this one? Yeah. Oh, um, here, just give me some of that water and I'll rinse this. How about that? Say, it's, uh, Mine has hands liquid. Up, um, it's when accountability. So if you do something wrong and somebody like, calls you out and starts giving you shit for it, if you put your hand up and say you're accountable, you're not allowed to give anybody any more shit for it. But you have to admit that you're, you're being accountable for what you did, right? All right. So they were doing this to Jet. And they were like, you're, you always, we tell you 30 times a night before, you and Jed are the same person I learned. Yeah. Because they're right. on this trip. He goes, we told you 30, night, 30 times a night before, we got to leave I, by 9.30. This way, we got to leave by 9.30. Mm -hmm. He goes, every morning, you wake up and go, what time we got to leave, guys? And you're always the last one on the bus. And he goes, you get on the bus and you do this. Aaron's right. I said with all due respect. <laughs> he said, dude, he goes, every, I was like, or Tick goes, every time you get on the bus, you don't say a word to anybody, you get on the bus and you do this. And you put your shirt on, you just do this. Hey, we're not morning people. And I was like, oh, my gosh, it's literally Sean. And so then and Fat Prez goes, yeah. just, hands up accountability. Put your hand up. We'll, we'll all stop talking about it. Just say that you do that. You're accountable for it. And he won't do it. <laughs> right? So apparently when Fat Prez messes up because he hit something with the RV. Oh, yeah. He's like, hands up account. I, I, I did it. 
Oh, and then they all have to fuck stop. that thing up. Yeah. So I'd like to implement. They said in friend groups you should implement this. I like this idea. We're going to implement it tonight. So I now is it over a thousand dollars? Oh, it could be close to a thousand dollars. So, and I have basically everything on video except the incident. Um, the so on Saturday. I went over to HQ, me and Holden did, and I was like, there's a barrel that I'd like to transfer. Yep. We, ha- we have a light whiskey barrel that we very recently dumped. That yeah. barrel has only been used for two and a half, three months. Yeah. I'm like, we should just put light Refill whiskey in Refill it back barrel. up, yeah. So I put light whiskey in that barrel, okay. right? Holden's helping me. We're having a blast. We're there for like two, three hours. He's like helping me, like he's checking the inside of the barrel, and he's like, "Why we dumped the barrel. This, all the, everything's great. I, I want to throw a caveat real sure, quick before yeah, we start ahead. hands-up accountability. Yeah. I still get to say a couple of things. 100%. You, you, you're not allowed I don't get to start with it. Yeah. You're right. You can't tell the 100%. story with your fucking hands up. True. That is true. So me and Holden are doing this, having literally having unless a blast. it goes to Schmurder, then you can you can throw that then up you there. You can plead yeah. the fifth. Yeah. <laughs> you just plead the fifth. Yeah. Um. So we we're having a great a great time. I he loves doing it so much. So it's so much fun. Yeah. We're done. The barrel's full. Everything went really incredibly well. Nice. Truly, everything's great. All right. Put the bung in that, put the bung in the top one, roll the whatever, start cleaning everything up. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, okay. Like, I'm going to get the barrel out of the the loft. I'm going to bring it down. I get the barrel out of the loft. The fork truck, all of a sudden, just started working perfect. Nice. No error codes. It goes to normal speed. Doesn't make any weird noises. I'm like, whoa. And this is halfway through me moving barrels around. All morning, it didn't work. Real hit or miss, yeah. Then it just randomly started. I'm like, yeah. I'm just going to take it for what it is. There's a short somewhere in that thing. Well, so then... I'm lowering, I lower the barrel down, mm-hmm. and I'm backing up, and I stop, right? Yep. And when I stop, and it, mind you, it's been letting me stop and go. Yep. So I stop. You also don't like to drive with your foot on the brake? My or, on, I stopped, or use the brake? I stopped with the brake, true. Okay. Because I'm backing up, yeah. and it's towards the door. That's fair. So I, I hit the brake, and I'm stopped. I hit the forward pedal. It goes backwards full speed right into the well pump. No. So, mind you, this is a thing that's been happening. Is it just sometimes the pedal goes the wrong direction right now because of seemingly a power short? So, okay, it blows the PVC from the slabbed metal pipe into the well pump apart. So now they've they were consummated. They're unconsummated, right? I turn around. Real quick before we start, we finish this conversation. Did you turn off or unplug? Buddy, I've already. I was there today. Did you un? Uh, did you unplug the RO? Yes. Okay. I had to. Yes. Because it collapsed that tank otherwise again. Yes. So, anyways, immediately water is dumping out of this pipe now because it goes to the well. So, anyways, yeah. I'm like, shit. You take a picture. I don't know. No, I'm no. I'm running around at this. So point. is it? You know, just keep going. So, I get the water to stop. <laughs> goat uh and then i'm trying to assess damage you didn't stop the water it just stopped coming out there's a difference no nope. i did two things um because uh well i i mean i did unplug everything there was gonna be water everywhere um because now there's an open end on the well pump there's an open end on the well slab thing or there's just open ends everywhere and in theory they would have connected in which water would have flown through them beautifully <clears throat> so what happens after this is uh, the PVC, the threads from the PVC nipple just stuck inside the slab, the metal pipe coming out of the ground. Finally, get, that took forever. Got those out, take the P, the PVC out of the well pump, and I'm like, I'll just take this to a store and they can rebuild it for me. I'll just okay. buy a new one. So is the pipe coming out of the slab still good? In theory, right? So at the time. So then I... Uh, Did not put that fucking hand up. So then... Listen, that's not, that is 100% on the fork truck. That thing went backwards. I pushed, it didn't even beep, just went backwards. It didn't beep. There was no beep, beep. It just went, uh, crash like that. There's no noise, dude. It was, well, it was a lot of noise. It was very loud for a moment. Um, Because Holden went, what was that? And then I was like, oh, fuck. In my brain, I said that. So anyways, so then I, I get this all situated. Well, <laughs> well's unplugged. All the RO's unplugged. Everything's unplugged. There's no water coming out. Tape the uh, hole to the well so nothing could crawl in there. You know, whatever. Tape everything up. Get everything sealed back up. I need to fix it, but I got the piece. I'm going to go get a new piece. I'll put it back in. So then, 
it just it just gets worse. So I need you to hold on. So then I go, Holden and I are locking up. Mm-hmm. I'm going to just bring in three or four pallets and let them sit over the weekend. It's Saturday at this point. I'll bring them in. I'll be back here like Tuesday to clean up from the party. And so I'm just, they'll be warm. We'll just heat cycle our stuff a little bit. The worst part is we do have a um, rail that should be mounted. Oh, it's there now. Oh, you mounted it? No, I put it there today. Mm. Uh, it's not mounted in case I have to change the well pump now. So, um, but did you buy a duct tape? There was a gorilla tape over the well pump and the the well so, uh, hose thing, clamper, metal, whatever. So, anyways, um, so also the issue is Dan. I know what you're trying to describe, uh-huh. yeah, uh-huh. and I'm still like a little lost in what happened. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh. TLDR fork truck. I pushed the Ford. It went backwards. Oh, okay, okay. It hit. Okay, so this is the thing. It hit the metal pipe that comes out of the slab that feeds the well pump, right? Yeah, that's worst case scenario. When it is truly worst case scenario. When it hit it, it broke the PVC. Okay. Not the metal, which okay. is great news because PVC is very cheap and replaceable and not buried in the slab foundation of the building. So anyways, so then I, it's, all, it's all taken care of, but I got to come back and fix it a different day, right? Everything's unplugged. We're settled down. You know, you're very, very right there, uh, slat van. What? Man who backs Forerunner into everything oh, and now backs Fort Truck okay. into something. Now, if my Forerunner went in reverse on accident, I wouldn't take the blame for that either. So anyways, <laughs> so I drive the Fort Truck out into the barrel house. I am going to move three sacks of MGP barrels in. Yeah. I take the top one off, set it down. Take the second one off, set it down. Go to the third one, pick it up, carry it in. Fort Truck now, mind you, back to not working again. It's doing the like one and a half mile an hour yep. thing. Okay, yep. So it's not working again. So I, I slowly cruise her back out. We're locking up at this point. Lights are off, except literally the big door is open and the one light is open and operation. Dan moved the barrels for the Friday launch. What do you mean? He said, wasn't there a bunch of barrels in front of that pump oh. for this reason? No, that's not why they were there, but they were there. They were there because they were they out were of there. the way. That's not why they were there. That's, um, why, that's why I left them there. Yeah, but, well, we dumped the light whiskey. That was one I know, but we've had two there for like the longest one time. One of them was light whiskey. Yeah. So we moved that to dump it. So there was only one. So I, in theory, would have still hit the pump had that barrel, had we not. I mean, we moved that to dump it. So, so then I go back out. I pick up the second pallet. One pallet, three barrels. Everybody knows the rules. Did this go through the side of the go, barrel house? I or? go. No, it's in the middle. I set them all down. There's three pallets in the middle of the barrel house. I put them there. I'm moving them into the uh, operation. I go, and it goes, boom, like that. Fucking hydraulic fluid just starts yeah, spraying blue fitting, out probably. of the fucking yeah. side of the mast or whatever that piece of shit's called. Yeah. And I'm like, this fork truck needs to be burnt to the fucking ground, dude. <laughs> it has now, it, and Sean experienced it. He won't admit it right now, but someday he will admit that it does now for some odd unknown Lord fucking God forsaken reason. Sometimes when you push forward, it goes back and you push back, it goes forward. Sometimes right now it just does that. Blue hydro, buddy, there are, oh, I need like some very real degreaser. There is hydraulic fluid all over the fucking place now in the barrel house in operations. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this piece of shit. At this point, my blood pressure is 700 over 9 million. Yeah. I became Vegeta with the power thinger mm-hmm. in DBZ. Mm-hmm. I, dr- I say fuck it. I just drive the barrels up. It's fucked anyways. It's fucked, right? Mm-hmm. Nobody, the guy who we bought it from, who I've been texting with, yeah. like, oh, sorry, dude. I, I, I don't know anything about that code. I was trying to look it up. I can't find anything. Hey, man, you fucking sell these things and say you service them. So anyways, I get the forklift back in. I get the pallets in. There's two pallets in. Didn't make the third one, obviously, because I don't know that she would have made the next trip. No, I definitely wouldn't. Um, but there's two pallets in there. Uh, went back today, put the PVC back in, put everything back in. Um, Where are we at with that? I don't, I don't know if the well pump's okay or not. Yeah. I just don't know. I don't know how to test it. Plugged Plug everything it in. back in. Run well it. runs. All right. No leaks. Got her all glued back up. With what? Tight. You just use rubber cement, right? Dude, it's I've about, done plumbing, dude. It's still what I about. I've done plumbing. I got the fucking rain and shine, heavy fucking blue glue bullshit. I got the purple shit to clean everything. I fucking cut the thing with the sawzall. I, literally, it's the exact same part that was already there. Swear to God. 
So if you run it, <clears throat> it'll yeah. just stop eventually. It won't stop is kind of our issue now. So now it How is, long did you get it? Well, I was there for about three hours. It ran for three hours? It was making noises for three hours. It would never got hot. That's yeah, fucked that. Never got hot. Yeah. It's moving water, though. Where? Because today... After I put everything in, I let it dry for half an hour. It says 15 on the bottle. Let her, let her go for 30, just in case. Plug her back in. Plug the RO back in. I wouldn't do that. It, I have to because the well pump's not going to run if the bladders are full. And nothing's been used since this happened. It lost pressure. Everything's full. Oh, yeah. maybe that's just it then. So we just need Ryan to come redo the pressure thing. However he does that. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, it won't run for three hours, but it would it'd take probably about... 10 minutes to fill up both bladder tanks. So you can hear water running through the packs? There's, there's check valves on both sides. It won't run out. What won't run out? Like, there's check valves to, re- like, it won't come out of the, if the, the bladders were full, it'd be yes. full. So just run some out of the hose. So I ran water out of the sink. Nope, that's RO water. I know, but I needed everything to kick on. That won't kick on. That's the, the big tank would have to be empty for that. To- Which will start the RO if the tanks are empty. And I'm using RO water. It, it turns. Oh, it'd be easier you if, you, I'm I'm, I'm, if you just open up the hose from the non-RO sure, that, line. Yeah, that makes and sense. And that'll just too. drain the bladder the and then is, start is it. Now you can hear water running. To where? Through the packs. Okay. But no, the bladders are not filling up. So now I don't know what the fuck's going on. And there's not leaks. So now I don't know what's going on. I don't know if the well's not moving enough to make a significant, or the pump's not moving enough. It might be to just make fucked. a significant difference. Yeah, the pump just might be fucked. So might need a new pump. So um, nine hundred dollars, not a thousand now, which is good news. We got that at cost for nine hundred dollars, and he drove. Well, we're gonna get another at cost because it'll be our cost. Because yeah. now we can just put our own in. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to fucking install a well pump. Thank God. Come to find out, I know exactly how. So to your do that. day, which day? Today or Saturday? Ten grand day. Well, so here's the thing. Now, now, if you want a little, if now I did get so mad with the fork truck situation, and I'm so over it now yeah. because we don't have a reliable fork truck, and we built fucking 17 different procedures around owning a fork truck, uh, including how we stack our barrels or how we dump our barrel or how we unload trucks. All these things. I'm assuming you already bought one. Um, no, I went the smart financial route. We're going to lease a fork truck. We're going to lease to own. Got a hold of some nice, very nice lady. She's fitting one to our charger for us with the same capabilities, but not in shit shape. Yeah. The guy I texted the guy today, I go, any update on the code stuff, dude? And there's a thing blown on the mass. There's hydraulic fluid everywhere. And he texts me back. He goes, we're going to have to bring that into the shop. And I go, when, though? Here's what we can do. When? Take the new fork truck, yeah. right? Pick up the old fork and truck, it set up. it on a trailer, yeah. right? And they can take it back. Yeah. And I'll sell it back to them very cheap. Sounds great. Yeah. yeah give us four grand and fucking leave us alone. Two now. grand. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck right now. That fork truck is now costing money where we've already paid for it, which yeah. sucks. Dude, when I hit the, when I hit the Ford and I... You mentally and physically prepare yourself to move in a certain direction. You know what I mean? You talk to someone at Crown, I take it? I hit the Ford and it went... <laughs> I went like this and I went, what the fuck, dude? Like, it's a problem. Uh, no, it's uh, it's a, it's a... They have a branch in Saginaw. Oh, okay. They've got 12. they got a branch in Saginaw. They warranty everything. They work on all their own shit. I was like, you're beautiful and we should buy stuff from each other. Because it'd be nice to have some support when shit hits the fan like this, you know? And they rent them. So if something, if, if yours breaks and it's under a warranty, you can get a rental in the, in the meantime. It's, it's a beautiful situation. We're going to lease a fork truck. And, or we can rent to own a used one or lease to own a new one. We got options. It's beautiful. We'll have pricing tomorrow. Cool. Yep. We're getting a new fork truck. Chat, which we needed desperately. But good news is on the lease or the rent or whatever to own, it's not one big cost up front. That's what I, t- I told her. I go, listen, I don't want to pay you $30,000 next yeah. week, but I would love a fork truck next week. So if you if you guys do a lease program yeah. or a rent program, but I want to own it, though. We do want to buy it. But Anyone I don't want a buy plumber it. in the, the Mich- Midland area that wants to work for whiskey? Yeah. <laughs> Let me know. Yeah. We need a structural engineer. Yeah. We uh, got Bobby, I thought. We need... Text. James just said that, but didn't like... He didn't she set does, it though. up. He yeah. didn't set it up, though. We need James to set it up. What is this? Tell her we'll pay her in, like, seltzers. 
We can just pay her. I don't know. We got to get a new floor track. Listen, guys. Nobody knows this. I towed that four truck off of our road because it broke on the road the other day unloading pallets. We had nine pallets to unload. It, I got one off of the truck. It broke, and then I had to tow it up to the building with my forerunner. Like it's, it's, I. There's no way to explain how big of a piece of shit it is at this point. It just is the biggest piece. Of, it's been leaking now for a month, probably. It's been leaking fluids. Sean's topped off the batteries 80,000 times, I think. I don't yeah. know, dude. It's a, it's a piece of shit. It does need new batteries, truly. It actually does need that. Well, we knew that they, um, the batteries were still in good condition. We, we knew that. But they were used. They've got a yep. good amount of hours on them. So we knew down the road we were hoping we could make it a year or two before we have to um, replace those because battery placement on a four truck of that size is 36 Seven volts. I think it was like... 900 some odd watt hours or something like that but eh, it was like five to seven i think was it five to seven yeah we paid seven for it yeah six so six or seven yeah so needless to say wasn't worth the batteries um it was a heister um i can i tell you the most terrifying Honestly, it's been great other than the fact that one of the most terrifying um things i ever experienced was a hydraulic fitting and exploding yeah next to me yeah, that sounds not great. Um, me and my brother were cutting wood um, years ago, and uh, it was like February, below fucking freezing, and we're going, and it's just brass fittings. Sure. My brother goes to descend one. The log is, boom. It sounded like a 12-gauge went off between really? us, and I looked at him and go, which one of us is dead right now? And it was just a brass fitting exploded. It shot Yeah, out. and just off the, uh, Holy the actuator. Holy shit. Chris, fork 246. Truck fun. Thanks, dude. And then BT that... with a 50. Fork lift fun. Thank, Thank you, guys. You, buddy. BT, that's a lot of money. Thank you very much. Chris, that'll cover the uh, one of the charges. It'll cover yeah. a charge. No, it won't. Here's the good news. She loves our charger. She yeah. goes, you got that's you a good got, brand. She goes, you got a charger? And I go, we I go, I'm not buying a charger. Yeah. We just bought a new one. It's yeah. new. We bought it new because our last one was a piece of shit. Yeah. And I go, but no, I, we bought that the new one because the old one was three phase and we couldn't make that work. Also that, but yeah. it also looked like a piece of shit. Um, Just old three phase. We charger. never plug. We don't even know if it worked. They but, said it did, but they also said the four trip. They also said too. they went through all of the seals and everything, yeah. the seals and fluids before we bought it. Well, they tapped fluid off, and it just blew a seal. So <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. The crazy part is like we aren't that hard on it. No. She's like, how much do you use it? And I'm and I'm like, how do you want me to? clarify that statement yeah, like she hours goes, how many hours a day and i go oh no not like that <laughs> it's hours like, a week how many hours a week can i go five would be on the high end i don't yeah. know like it's not a consistent running all the time but we use it often but it's yeah. not for a long time why electric because um the distillery is very small no and it doesn't take that. very long for the propane like the, the exhaust to build up mm -hmm. and then you're just woozy and bombing well and we're dying we also we literally at grand traverse they replaced all their propanes to yeah. not have the smell and just not have propane yeah. inside. But yeah, needless to say. So everything is hooked back up. Unfortunately, we might have to unhook the well pump. Um, but I know exactly. I mean, it's easy. Super easy. Uh, so. Yeah. Jay said, here's a little bit of help, I would say, for a new forklift. But I guess it's now just for the whole story in general. Yeah. Thanks, Caldor. Appreciate it. Yeah. Buddy. Only Dan's is now selling feet picks for the new fork truck phone. <laughs> Thanks, Chrissy. My sister, I told my sister that story, and she goes, we use Toyota fork trucks at work, and they're great. And I go, they're also $50,000. Oh, yeah. Used yeah. is like thirty five, dollars and they had 100,000 yeah. hours on them. It's like, hey, those in Crown are great. Yeah. Like, everybody knows they're great, and everybody knows they cost a fortune. Uh, this Woodford's really good. Have you had it yet? I just poured her. Very good. It smells great. Wow. Heavily. It, it's, it feels Thanks, like Chrissy. she's got a good amount of heavy finish on her. Very sweet, though. Now, this has, that has a great finish. Like, the right amount. Doesn't smell like a 90 proof whiskey. Yeah. It smells more rich Drinks than a right. 90 proof whiskey. I own a Heister 50 Pro Pay Miles. Been very reliable for 10 years. Um, ours is, I don't know, what does ours have like 10,000 hours on it? It says when you start it up or some shit, it's like 9,900 something. No, it is that a lot? Yeah, it does. 9,000 hours? 9,900 something. When oh, you okay. start it up, it says it every time. And right now you have to turn the key on and off to move it. Mm, that's probably very true. So. What is the Woodford? It is the new Master Collection. Sonoma Number 19. Finish. 
Limited edition series number 19. It's a 700 mil, and it's 90.4 proof like all of them are. Yeah, it's a little sad. Did I overpay for it? Yeah. Didn't tell Dan Here's the thing, though. It's it, If it tastes like Shout out to Top Shelf. Is it, was it less than Angel's Cask? They had that, too. Was that less than it? Yeah. Good. Not much. Okay. Okay. How tanked were you when you went into this store? You know what, dude? It was two fifty. A few bottles there for that. Yeah. Oh, you did tell me that. I do remember. Because I think it's supposed to be one sixty. I think it's one fifty nine. Thirty five. I believe one fifty nine is actual price. Which is weird to mark that up. That's not even like a wild ass limited. Got me though. Definitely no secondary on there. That's true. They'd get you. Yeah. They'd get you. But you're a sucker for those. Yeah. You always like those. Yeah. I think it's always one of the best. I mean, this should be in uh, whiskey of the year for us. Uh, You're throwing some shitters in there. This is better than like midwinters. Okay. All right. I don't know if that's true yet. I haven't drank it. It smells very good, though. So when you fix it in the fucking water. I did. I was there today doing it. Mm. Is it fixed, though? I mean, if you, you can plug everything in and turn it all on, and it all runs, and it didn't vacuum. That's the thing. The RO ran twice while I was there. Okay. And it didn't, um, va- it didn't vacuum that tank in. Did you push the tanks to see if they're like filling up? The the bladders. Yeah. Yeah, and they don't feel like it, which is the part I'm not understanding now. I'd stop running the RO. Everything's then. off, buddy. Everything's unplugged. Okay. I was gonna say, just stop no, running I, the RO. No, every time I just I let it run while I was there to see if everything was working. You hear water run through the packs. The well pump is running. It sounds very normal. Everything sounds and looks and. Now, here's the other thing. There's that little black tube. There's that little black line that comes yep. off the well. What is that? Tell me that's hooked up. It's hooked up, but what is it? That is your pressure regulator. Okay. So, so when that is on the other side of the check valve, yes. so when that sees that it is too pressure in both the bladder tanks, it'll kick off the tank. That's why the well isn't turning off then. It has something to do with that in okay. the bladders. So <clears throat> the weird thing is it, it got warm. But remember, you run it for like 10 to 15. Yeah. That's how warm it got today. It's set to run only for 10 minutes. That's basically. how warm it got. But the bladder tanks aren't full. Now, here's the thing. That little black thing did have a little drip coming out. Just a little tiny drip, right? So as the well pump, you would have enjoyed this watching this day. As the well <clears throat> pump thing came out, I'm like, oh, it's loose. So I pushed. Uh-huh. Well, that's how it comes out. Yes. So I pushed, and it went <laughs> right in my fucking face. I don't know what that well, pressure is. It's a a lot of pressure. Dude. Yeah. Shit tons of pressure. Yeah. About blew my hand off. It's probably about 40. So then I'm like, shit. So then I get it plugged back in, right? All is well in love and all is fair in love and work. I wouldn't say well. So, well. So anyways, I take one of these glasses. Yeah. Because everything's back together. And I'm like, I'm going to let the well run now. I just did like little piddly shit, cleaned up from the party, just that shit. Everything's clean. Uh, I, like, mounted the internet thing so it's not hanging in the fucking plant anymore. Like, just shit. I get that done. I walk back over, and I go, the well pump's still running. I go feel it. I'm like, okay, it's not too hot. It sounds normal. Everything seems okay. I'm going to let it go. Yep. So then I have one of these, and it had light whiskey in it from the other when Holden and I were there because I want to show them the color difference between what we bottled and the new the barrel that I dumped. Yep. So I was like, look at the difference in three months, whatever. So I dumped the light whiskey out. I walk over to the hose thing, right? That you had just put on this with the two, the adapter. And I open the one, and this is under it. And I go, Phew. the Lord. Wouldn't do that. The Lord pissed into this glass. That dude. needs a, a check valve. Holy shit. Or a shit. pressure regulator put it on it, basically. Shot a glass into the cement at <laughs> Mach 14, dude. So, yeah, that needs a pressure regulator put on it. Right out of my hand. Yeah. Didn't break the glass. Yeah. Literally talked to the owner after that, and I go, dude, I just shot one of your glasses into the cement here, and it didn't break. And he goes, yeah, it shouldn't. Maybe we should play a game. It was wild. I don't know if my blood pressure can handle this. I don't have anything else, dude. That's all. Everything's fucking, everything's working outside and possibly a well pump. Very easily fixable. The shitty part is if we get a new well pump, I have to re-fucking seat these dumb PVC pipes, which were kind of a pain in the ass to seat, but whatever. So, here's the thing, dude. Think about it this way. The, this worst case scenario is 900 and change. You know? Just think about it that way. That's a worst case. You and Brandon's worst case scenario on that barrel is about three grand. Um, well, five. On what barrel? Sorry, I blacked out for a minute. Uh, the Audible. Oh, that's fine. Our worst case on that is five grand. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. This seems like minuscule. I'll make it better. 
<laughs> I didn't taste it again today. It's not I have all of our it, finishing. It needs some time. I have all of our finishing barrels organized on the left. And then I have our Sagamore organized behind those on the left. So those can just stay in there and get better, like older. Yeah. And then um, the new light whiskey finishing barrels up top. We dumped our double barrel. Yeah. Uh, MGP bourbon. And we dumped our double barrel light whiskey. And I was like, dude, what's the insurance claim deductible? I'm not claiming. It's not We're under 1,000. You didn't no state way. a new rule. Oh, and then I put the big uh, yellow thinger up. The whole, you know. And, but unless it's mounted in the ground, it's really not going to do anything. It's not mounted in the ground because I don't know if it works. I'm not going to unmount it from the ground to get the well pump out. Oh, you could just take it off the mounts. Or I could just it's not mount four it bolts. because our forklift doesn't drive. That's true. No, yeah. it drives. Kind no, of. Well, there's a pallet on it. You we can still fuck some shit up. We can't get the I got faith off. in you. We can't get the pallet off. Yeah, you can. No, we can't. Why? How? Push it down. Oh, no. No, no, no. The, the, the puddle of hydraulic fluid right now underneath of the forklift and the pallet's on top of the forklift fork still. Yeah. It's a fucking mess, dude. Yeah. It's a. So when going, it's a pallet, going down relieves pressure, though. So it's on it the floor already. Oh, okay. So yeah. just drive backwards with it. Oh, no. When you turn it on right now, shit sprays out of it. Oh. Well, I didn't turn on today. But it's shot, shot. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. fucked. Yeah. No, no. As it was sitting on the ground, it was going. Yeah. Like it's because it's pressure. Runs a constant yeah, pressure, it's yeah. It's enough. Lugans, thank you for the 50. He says, for when Sean rebuilds buddy. virtue. I mean, listen. This is like not a big deal. He doesn't need a raised hand right now. I'm still collecting. Whoa! This is this is not a fully my fault issue. I pushed forward. The fucking thing went backwards. I don't know what you expect from that scenario. You wait, had that wait, wait, happen. Wait. Okay, 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 okay. Was it like a whoa, and then you fucking hit it, or no. was it like a I'm wildly too close? Shouldn't have ever been this close. It bumped oh. it in reverse, and then you hit it. Yeah, it just bumped it. Yeah. It didn't hit it hard, buddy. Yeah. It didn't break the metal. That's how you know it didn't hit it hard. Don't get that Because it would have broke the slab. Don't get that Says close. the guy that parked three feet off my fucking rear bumper, huh? It's five. Says the guy. <laughs> weird coming from you. Stop. Very odd. Just going in reverse. Also says the guy that hit, hit our barrel house with the fork truck. So did you. I know, but you did too. Yeah, okay. Don't get so close. <laughs> <laughs> fucking says the guy here. It's pot calling kettles. You know what I mean? Raise your hand. Yeah. If you backed into multiple things this year. In anything with an engine? Yeah. Definitely me. Yeah. Yep. Raise your hand if you had somebody park on your ass. Oh, yeah. Constantly. And mm -hmm. had a vehicle that you, when you pushed the gas pedal, went in reverse. Okay. That's everyone in the world, probably. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not. But I've never hit anyone doing that. I mean, you're three for three at this point in time. <laughs> I'm accountable. Okay, I'm accountable. Okay, listen. Okay, listen. I. Oh yeah, you hit your car with a lawnmower. That was unfortunate. You hit an Audi RS3 with a fucking lawnmower. Yeah, I was turning. That's unfortunate. That was there's um. Luke brought that up. There's like oh, a man. a little trailer like okay. piece that's like this big on the back of the frame that sticks out behind it so when i looked back i did look back i go i got room and went the turn and it went come to find out we shouldn't drive things i don't know you know what we both hit our barrel house with the forks on the forklift mm -hmm. i have now now i did push forward so, okay. it is so here's the difference though when i hit my car yeah didn't cost dan any money sure when dan hit my dad's car that sure. cost me money Cost me money too. And then when Dan blew our fork truck up into our water, mm -hmm. cost me money. Well, the fork truck was going to blow up no matter who was driving it. That didn't have any. We don't know that. We are 100% <laughs> sure of that. Hey, it's on video. I'll bring it. It's that on, deer hit me, good sir. It's on, I forgot you hit a deer. Holy shit. It's yeah. on video. That cost Sean, my insurance company money. Sean trying to pick up three pallets of barrels with that fork truck. We tried. It's on video. You. Also encourage that. I, and I still to this day would. And I would never <laughs> blame you had it blown a seal if it did while you were doing that. I would have been like, damn, that didn't work. That's what I would say. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> now, Sean did successfully pick up two pallets. Yeah. Chris There's came out and was like. More than he should have. It's rated for 3,300, looks like. Yeah. Well, shit, those are about 4,000. <laughs> now, now, is that a problem? A little bit. 
We were close. But listen, ratings are always the oh, same. Oh, yeah, bet. that's a, yeah. It's don't take, don't take four ibuprofens. You can take six. You know what I mean? Don't do that. Not don't, a doctor. But you Not can. a doctor. Don't, but you can, though. Um, Man, we've hit a lot of shit collectively. Like a lot. Ricky thinks that I hit our trailer with her Tahoe, too. Yeah. I didn't. No, but, you backed in someone then, too. <clears throat> no, that, that, she came back from a grocery store, and that dent was there, and she just blames me for it. But what salary and benefits package are you offering for the new forklift driver position? <laughs> Can't afford it. Oh, <laughs> the whole yeah, budget dude. just went out. We got to lose the forklift now, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate. I'm not too mad about that. It's just a well pump. I'm, I will say I'm very glad. Like, that's why I was very nervous. Is like, did you unplug the RO? Because that thing. would really fuck some Shot shit up. Shot everything out of the wall. I'm yeah. like, I got to turn all this shit off. That dumb fucking thing is going to vacuum that stupid black and That's tube. a new tank, too. <laughs> stupid. Look like, at that thing. It's just going to just into a f- little hourglass again. Just yeah. It's, the, um, it's the, the salt tanks for the, uh, the, the pre-filter. Yep. Yeah. Well, listen, good news. Well pump, literally, well, I detached. Actually, I detached both because I detached the top one tonight to hook it back up. But literally two there, wire the stupid little cord in, put the black pump thing in, done. It's super easy, super easy. And I have all of the lag bolts and a masonry drill bit sitting on the barrel next to the yellow things right now. Oh, yeah. Um, Have it all bolted together to be screwed into the floor. But I want to screw it in because I'm like, you know what? Probably going to have to replace a well pump. So. Just screw it in when that's done. Nobody can hit it because there's nothing in there to hit it with anymore. I'm sure you'll find out. You get the forerunner in there or something. Back into it. Just I, for good well, measure. Dude, you know, in bad luck, took the old, my new bumper here is for my forerunner. My new, I bought a new bumper. Yeah. It's here. Take my bumper off the other night because it was like 50 degrees out. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, oh, super take normal the Christmas off. day. Take the bumper off. All of the clips on the, the silver part, yeah. all broken. Come to find out, had no idea. Stop hitting things. All broken. No, weirdly, all broken on one side and not the other side at all, which is, it, I don't. What did you put on the thumbnail? A uh, picture DC made like four years ago. What was on the thumbnail? Me and you in a hot tub. Oh, from, yeah. From the hotel. Uh, yep, yep. Um, but those are all broke, so now my car doesn't, I can't drive it. It doesn't have a rear bumper on it. Because I had to order that stupid thing where the clips aren't broken so I could put it on the bumper so I could f- put it back on the car. Yeah, because you ruined some kid's life and hit his car. No, it's because I hit your dad's car. I could have, the that was fixable from his car. Your dad's car was not. It is not. It tore it. It literally split it in half. <sighs> it's a problem, CJ. But CJ drives better in Warzone than Dan drives a Fort Trump. Well, okay. Nobody knows the context of that. And I appreciate nobody knowing the context. Thanks for the super chat, both. See, there's some fantastic. We haven't dropped anything on. yet, there, Ben. And then uh, Travis said he uh, he would work for a hundred k plus whiskey. Well, we make less than that. Less so. than that. <laughs> so reel it in, <laughs> dude. Listen, Virtue hasn't made a hundred k. Like that distillery has not brought in a hundred k. Dan negative us ten k today <laughs> no, or I Saturday or whatever. I didn't negative Kelly. I don't suck. This is crazy. You guys are being extremely rude. I tell I come out and tell you guys stories about things that happened in my life, and then you guys judge me. And that also, is, hands up, my car. I said that. My car's got that big of a scratch. Sure, on it. mine's about to have non, not yeah. non, non. I love non bread. Mm. Which one? Yeah. What's your favorite non? Garlic. She's <sighs> garlic. Cheese. She's garlic. Man, garlic is solid. Yeah, because garlic goes with every Indian food there is. Yeah. Oh my. He in his. He's in there. He's never in there. He in there. Guys, did you see him go in there? All right. Want to play a game? Kelly sent us a game. Was it guessing what else you broke or? That may be one of the questions. We don't know. Who knows? It's called. It's. <laughs> Who gets to clean up the hydraulic fluid? Oh, I just, I need, I need a degreaser <coughs> for it now. Like we have to, cause it's just, it's not, it's too much. Like it's, it's not like a wipe it with a paper towel. Not one of those situations. Anymore. Is it on the barrels? No, it's oh, not on any barrels. God. So thankfully, when it imploded in the barrel house, it sprayed into the open barrel, like into the open cement. Gotcha. And then I drove it back up the driveway. It slowed down, obviously, because it's running low now. Uh, and then in in the operations, there's just a big-ass puddle. So, Why'd you drive it back in? 
because it it had a pallet of barrels on it. Yeah, but the bear. The, okay, hear me out. I just wanted the barrels in. Just wanted the barrels in. That's it. Swear to God, just wanted the barrels in operations because at this point, it was like you know what? It's already fucking broke. Just move them. You know, that's what I thought to myself, and I did that. Um, we'll never make any money if Dan keeps fork trucking. Well, here's True. the thing. Lucan's, you yes, get what you, Katie Litter is what you want. You get what you pay for when it comes to fork not trucks. Not the expensive one. We've learned You this. go get the cheapest Katie Litter we can find. Yeah, not that shit. Throw that shit everywhere. Yeah, not the one. Over and there. then we'll just kind of sweep that baby on up. This says Kelly. I don't know why. Well, if I can do this without stabbing you. Dustin, I don't know why. What are the... Are there instructions? This says... Well, Kelly's team show. Pallet wreckers. That's what it says. Oh, look at the colors on those, buddy. What did it say? Pallet wreckers? Yep. Look at the colors. One's blue. Literally. Fort truck wreckers? What? Pallet. Okay. Oh, pallet. Like your tongue. I I don't know how you, well, I you don't blue. know. I, I just said that, which is crazy you're repeating that. I don't know how you aren't understanding the hands up accountability situation we have going on here. And I didn't put it up right away. And I gave you, I gave you quite a bit of time for being completely honest. Um, so what, what are the rules on this? I'm not allowed we've to talk all about. Ex- we all accept what? what I did. Okay. And we're all moving forward from here. Okay. I have remedied the problem for the most part. Outside of buying a well pump, I've remedied the entire problem. Got us a new fork truck, hopefully. Put new PVC in with the correct cement, glue, tape, all the whole things. Cleaned up the mess that I did make outside of the hydraulic fluid, which is it isn't my mess. It's the fork truck's mess, but it's not going to clean it up. It's like children; they're going to make a mess and they're not going to clean it up. You know, you're my child, <laughs> dude. It was <laughs> a. I told Holden goes every time I leave that place. Oh, I gotta mess. say, I'm I'm a little nervous That's when insane. you're there alone. That's insane. I'm there alone very often. Yeah, all the time. But in the video uh-huh. today, yeah. I was gone for 30 fucking seconds, and you nah, tried to take stuff minutes. off with a hammer. We had dumped another bird. <laughs> no, no, no. There wasn't good context to that because the video wasn't rolling. I undid one of the clamps, and I'm like, it won't come off. So I, like, grab it, and I'm, like, wiggling it. I'm like, oh, there's probably a seal with the, the, the thinger in there. And so then I'm, like, wiggling it. I'm like, it still won't come off. And I'm like, do you have to hit this thing off? And Brandon's like, I don't think so. And I'm The like, Woodford's very good. What was your, your thoughts on that? I'm like this. And I'm like, I won't come off. Adam goes, uh, if you take the other, the clamp above it off, I think it'll come off. He was right. That, I didn't actually get a hammer. You would have if they weren't there. I wouldn't have. No, you can't. I know for I know that if I hit one of those with a hammer, it will. You ever grow. like it looked at me, disassembled any That's of that, and thought, good. man, Sean used a hammer. No, I just thought, damn, this thing's really sealed on. So I thought, swear to God. I listen, you think me picking up a hammer is like I'm going to smack it. You could tap it. Oh, do you think mm-hmm. you're going to start with a tap? I'm going to start because with a tap. Because when you didn't undo gonna... the right clip, yeah. you just start hitting it harder. That possible. But yeah. I wasn't going to actually get a hammer. It was like the it was like when when Brandon was like, "What's worst case scenario? What's worst case scenario, dude? Overflows." And then he was like, "That's a pretty bad scenario." And I'm like, it's, "You guys are everybody's so negative." Everything's fixable. Everything is fixable, dude. Okay. Fork truck ain't. <laughs> no, we got a new one. We need a new that one. That well pump ain't. The well pump's fixable. Come to find out. Not by us. I did Google this. Um, a new well pump. Obviously, we know how much well pumps cost. Yep. They're like, well pumps range from $350 to $1,500. This yep. is what it says on the internet. We have like a one horse. And it says, it goes, to repair a well pump, it costs around $375 to $1,450. And I'm like, that's a new well the exact pump. same yeah. prices. You gave us the exact same prices. Okay, can you avoid the pallet wrecking ball? Dustin samples and Kelly samples. No. <laughs> we'll play three rounds of rock, paper, scissors to determine who gets to pick their samples. Oh, okay. Best two out of three gets to choose Kelly's flight or Dustin's flight, so you will get one and I will get the okay, other. Okay, fair. On your score sheet, each sample will have four truths. Closer, yeah. But at this point, I'm just riding high. I'm not letting any negative things bother me anymore we, we had a perspective shift last week i said it was going to be a good week last week was a very good week it was okay last week was an incredibly good week we had a very very successful friday which was awesome a lot of people showed up so mm-hmm. thank you guys for doing that um we dumped and bottled that went really well and i think it's probably one of the better things that we've bottled there truly um a lot of you 
We got all of our Mondays done for January. Yeah. yeah. The light, yeah. Light's good. We had a good... That last week was a good week. Um, Dan lost bad fan. You should ask him about it. Who said that? Eric. Eric, I've been in a good mood, but I'll rock your shit on this last stream. <laughs> I, me and Zach Jones are on site. If he comes to that distillery, we're fist fighting as soon as I see him. We he, have to, legally. He was a Marine. I know. I know. I'm really hoping he forgot all of it, and he was like, I should cook. <laughs> you know? And he still forgot it. Pretty sure he's infantry. He probably was. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to win. And we just, Whatever I just, that is in the Marine. It's not a fucking pride. Uh, it's pride at this point. I got to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, listen, I'll, I'm willing to lose a fight. That's not gonna, <laughs> uh, um, hey, all right. <laughs> Okay, on your score sheet, each sample will have four truths and two lies. Four truths, two lies. And an opportunity to guess the bottle. You earn one point for every correct true or false. Two points for the bottle guess if it's correct. The person with the lowest score has to drink one of the punishment samples. Okay, so After no matter, each round or so each no matter what, we have to drink these. One of us does. Well, in the event of, is, hopefully they're all proof questions. Um, in the event <laughs> of a tie, play three rounds of rock, paper, scissors, loser drink sample. Punishment sample. You will drink one sample at a time, two minutes per sample. The loser from the round must drink the punishment sample before the next round. So it's every yeah. single yes. sample. Yes, I got that. Okay. So depending on what samples we get, one of these is Dustin's, one of these is Kelly's. So they'll follow the samples. Rochambeau. On shoot. Best of three. Yep. So rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. One and one and oh. Don't call the comeback. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Oh, Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Damn it. <laughs> Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you played yourself. Dude. All right. Okay. So you get to. It doesn't matter. <laughs> neither, I'll take Kelly's. Neither of us knows. No. Yeah, that's true. But Kelly is Team and Sean. And Dustin Rock, is paper, Team Dan. Shit. That. You know what? So I'm. I'm just going with perspective teams here. Okay. Sample number one key. Okay. So each one is individually in envelopes. Kelly has made us one of the best games we've ever played in the. Yeah, past. that one was a lot of fun. I got one pen. I have a red pen. Yep, okay, perfect. All right. Samples is red. So, thank you, I, Justin and Kelly. I know sh- she knows we're dumb, but there's actually turn over at the bottom of the sheet. And the funny part is you're not supposed to turn it over. You're actually just supposed to go to the next page. And there's nothing on the back. You think as a teacher, <laughs> Kelly would get Oh, that. it did not print double-sided. It did not. Yeah, and she's like, I'm not reprinting oh, this. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Do you need another? No, I've got four okay. right here. Hey, um, that Sonoma... Okay, really quick, just to recap, this Woodford Reserve Sonoma triple finish. Fantastic. Truly uh, one of Sorry. the best Masters collections that's come out in a minute, I think. And um, Historic Entry was fantastic. I, w- I would say that's that's on par with... This This definitely lived up to an expectation of a limited bottle. Yeah. You put a little hurting on that already, huh? I mean, we've had some. Well, it's only 700 mil. That's you know what that's it. That's the, that's the thing. That's you're right. Dara's pick must have been too. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I did that. I shared it with a couple people. Yeah. And then I also had some more. Yeah. And those couple people were Sean's. I drank it and thought, you know what? Dan's gonna give a shit about this. Don't care. <laughs> it's really good for real. That is um that's better than Angel's Envy cast uh cast drink this year. Uh, we have the the bottles wrote down that we we want for whiskey of the year 2023. Already? We just haven't shot the video yet. Okay. That'll come in Jan. January. Yeah. Chris Bragg. The three-quarter horse pump that was just put on before you bought the place was twelve fifty, and that was at 100 over cost. Chuck said that would pump all the well it was capable of putting on. So we could just um, oh, put, that put that back on. Back on? Yeah. Oh, because the problem's been fixed. Yes. It wasn't that, was yeah. it? Yeah. We'll so realistic, time. I was thinking that, but we'll have to get new, um, just different PVCs. Mm-hmm. To, to get it to work. I didn't know that that was that big. I thought that was a half. I thought it was a half, too. I don't know why. I thought it was a half horser. And realistically, it doesn't matter because the issue... Wasn't the pump. Wasn't the pump, yes. So it was a completely different issue, but we didn't know until we got the new pump put on. Yeah, yeah the new pump had already been purchased. <laughs> Sean's been drinking for two. I told him that's not how it works. <laughs> it's for me. Um. The... Uh, and then the other pump is just sitting next to the, or the other well pump just sitting next to the well pump that's installed right now. So that's great. It's just making me nervous there. You want to know if they're in order? They weren't. They were. No, I just put three in front of four. And I didn't, really I didn't want you to grab, yeah, look, buddy, you just grabbed that and I just moved it over. 
I didn't want you to grab four and put it in the third. Who would have thunk it? I would have. Yeah. Because I thought they were. Because mine came in a jumbled order in the bag. Oh, wow. They're trying to do that to us. Yes. Oh, I, wow. I, Kelly? I wasn't trying to be mean. I just didn't know if you noticed that or not. I didn't. Um, Kyle said, just bought Angels on Cast Drink. Phenomenal. Dude, fantastic. It is, it's okay. Um, if you gave me the option. All right, someone get him. Someone get him. <laughs> yep, there is. If you gave me. Fuck him. The option between Angel Envy Cast Strength and Woodford Sonoma Triple Finished, I would go Triple Finish. Really? Yep. Really? Yep. Um, I would go the opposite direction, obviously, because I love it, Angels. Is it because of the proof? Um, no, I just think the Angels is better. Than that stuff. drinks really good for it a does. proof. Like, really good. We've always said they're good at the, it. The finish on that is phenomenal. I like how all the Very other ones, fruity. not not in a baggie, but the, the, the crappy ones were. It's unfortunate those didn't spill. Guys, those aren't colors of liquid you drink. One's very red and one's very blue. Yeah, that one that looks like it's... <sighs> I'm starting with the red one, too. Oh, yeah, how does this work? You just pick the one you I think you drinking. just get to pick one. Which one's Malort, my guy? Cheech said, even when you don't think I'm here. <laughs> I appreciate it, Cheech. All right. All right, so do you want to... Do we have the same truths and lies? Uh, mine, your... mine is source product. Oh, no. Secondary Different. grain is right. Brand is also the distiller. Brand proprietor has been a BJ's live stream guest. Single barrel or distance between distilling and bottling facilities is over one. How would I know that ever? <laughs> what is yours? What are yours? Um, distilled in Tennessee. Finished whiskey. Over 100 proof. 100 proof or less. So okay. it could either be 100 or less yeah. or more, exactly 100. Um, product of an NDP legacy whiskey distiller. Hey, not Dustin. a distillery that says distiller. Hey, Dustin, what? I'm assuming Dustin wrote these. These questions. are also very open ended. Like the the last couple. Distance between distilling and bottling, bottling facilities. I don't. So here's the problem. Maybe I should know this. I don't know of a distillery. Let's just pretend I get the distillery right. Yeah. I don't know this to be true for any single human or. Distillery on the planet. If it's sourced. Yeah. So if it's a so source, if, it's an if you NDP, think it's, if you think it's an NDP, yeah. So, if, oh, so if it's ours, this could that could be true. How yeah, far is a thousand NDPs? miles? It says a hundred. So it's a thousand. Oh, I honestly okay. I honestly read a hundred. How far is a thousand? No idea. How far is it from here to Florida? More than that. Okay. I just wanted to just a Florida's general... twenty four hours. Well, it's about 21, I would say, to the border. And if yeah. you're averaging at, like, 60 miles an hour, sure. you're cooking. Man, a thousand's a lot. Yeah. It'd be, like, okay. 1,200. I'm going to get this one wrong. 1,500. Damn it, Dustin. I don't honestly know. Right. But, I mean, that could be... Um, I'm not... I, why am I helping you? Why? I just need a general... You got the geography question? Worst case scenario for you. <laughs> Dude, is that not the truth? Holy shit. All right, you ready? Yeah, two minutes. Uh, here, Stop I'm going to push watch. all these forward, ready? and then we got sample. Mm, or A, what do you want to call it? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, we're going. Cheers, buddy. Two seconds in. To a well pump. Fucker. <laughs> oh, this smells wild. What is that? What? This smells good. It's, uh, mine's very good, too. Texas is about 900 miles from east to west across the state. Is that true? That's <laughs> insane. That's yeah, you wild. can drive for like 20-some hours in Texas and still be in Texas, or 24, and still be in Texas because it's not all highway straight across. A brand is also the distiller. I see. Okay. I get the questions here. Virtue to Barrel King is about 650 miles. That's actually wild. A thousand miles is a long ways. So basically, the bottling and distilling was roughly across the country from each other. From Virtue to Land. Oh, okay. Sorry. I mean, I thought it'd be a little bit farther. Um, Kesma, enjoying some Blue Run Chosen by you guys. One of my favorite picks you've done. I'm glad you like it, buddy. Thank you, buddy. I'm, I've been happy to see people. Wait, I tried to explain that pick. In a way in which it was like, if you like this, you should like it, that that one. Um, and, you know, uh, like we've gotten <clears throat> feedback from a bunch of people who bought it, who have been Man. enjoying it, and that, I'm glad. 
Because it's it's a it's a very different you unique thing. Twenty five seconds. Yeah. Hey, I'm just trying to. I, it's just this is a you know? nightmare for me. Do we have to guess a sample for a bottle? Is that a thing? You can. It's worth two points. Oh well, I could, could just stop thinking about that. Okay, it says four truths and two lies. Time. Oh, we went to. I don't feel good about them. I feel like this is a trickery bottle for me. Oh, dude, I don't know if this is. I I I really wanted I really should have just followed my brain on this and said yeah. secondary grain is not I should have put false on this but I'm like I put oh you don't think it's a I think it's a rye oh I think it is a you rye. think that's the primary grain is a rye it's got to be this has to be okay man I might have gotten that one wrong that, okay what did you say was false I said distilled in Tennessee okay in a hundred proof or less we're false yeah. Um, um, I was an idiot and wrote false in the wrong. Well, I also wrote true to product from NDP and legacy whiskey distiller. Oh, you did the same thing I did. I yeah. wrote false on that it was source, and then I wrote false on brand. But it distiller. could be like Greg Metz at Old Elk or something like oh, that. Oh, that's fair. I, th I think that's some trickery being thrown at me. I should have went with my brain. Okay, ready? Yeah. We'll do yours. Okay. Um, bottle guess. Did you have one? Old Elk. Okay. Nope. Uh, it is distilled in Tennessee. That's true. That's what I thought. I it is one. finished with pecan chips. Okay. Oh, so interesting. So that one, I'll, I'll let you taste it. That one I was very on the fence about. It's very subtle. Okay. Now I know what it is, but this smells like what they're saying. It is. Okay. Uh, it is over 100 proof. It's 120. Yeah. I was guessing 118 in my head. It is not 100 proof or less. Obviously. It is not the product of an NDP. It is it, not. It is not. That is false. It is true that it is a legacy whiskey distiller. It's Jack Daniels Tennessee Taster. Oh, interesting. So it's a Jack Daniels finish with pecan chips. That one's tricky, though. Yeah, that is tricky. Because when that I and thinking Jack, it smells like Jack. What's funny but, is I didn't even think Jack Daniels for uh, a finished whiskey. As soon as I thought, oh, okay, if it's a finished yeah. Tennessee, it's got to be a Dickel product, right? I didn't, think, about I didn't that. think of any Dickel, so uh, I just started moving on. So I got. Do I get the ones right for falses too? And okay, you get so I got one, four. One point for every correct true false. Okay, I got four right there. Well, I'm going to get a lot wrong. Uh, I said it was sore, or I said it wasn't sourced. It is sourced. I thought it, it sourced. I thought it was a rye. Wrote that it, uh, secondary grains are rye. It's a rye, so this would have been false. Um, brand is not the distiller, so I got that correct because I put false. Okay. So that's one. Give yourself a checker. Um, brand proprietor has been on a BJ's live stream. I put true. It is true. Ooh. It was not from the brand, I guess. It is a single barrel. Thank God I wrote true. Okay. It was because I ran out of falses that I wrote true on that. That's fair. Yeah. Distance between distilling and bottling is over a thousand. Wrote true. Again, because I ran out of falses, got a point. It is over a thousand miles apart. It is smoke wagon, single barrel rye. Oh, Aaron but has been on here. The mash bill is 51 50. rye, 49 bars. Not 52? 51, 49. There's no corn no, at all. No third blend, huh? No third grain. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Sorry. Huh, you get three? Yep, four. Okay. I got four. Well, it's the same number as I got. Perfect. Love that for me. I got a lot wrong. Oh, we got a rock, paper, scissors for our sample now. Oh, yeah. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Suck it. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Fuck <laughs> it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm looking straight hey, forward, Dustin too. Dustin Kelly, you guys, this game? Dumb. Bad. Well, Bad mostly because I've got won oh, a dude. game of chance. I'm all in on now, it. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Dustin and Kelly. If you don't go directly hey. for the blue sample, hey, what are you doing? I will say, no, I had a good laugh at that one there, so thank you for that. Which one? Just right then. It cheered me up a little bit to win that. It smells like cologne. Do you think they would send something like Aqua. <laughs> Aqua di digital. Just smell that. That smells like cologne. Is it because it's blue that it... Is it a placebo effect to the MH... I, That's some fucking Adidas cologne yeah, no, yeah. from 2006 100%. right there. Yeah, I was somehow able to get my hands on Pappy 15 in an old rep for 650 on Christmas Eve. And? Still can't believe it. Cheers and Merry Christmas. Both of those for 650. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. In the grand scheme? Yeah. Not the end of the world. But he, the, if I would have found the Pappy 15 at Top Shelf, it would have been 1500 I bet. I, I don't want to die. Probably 1000 2000 somewhere in there. Probably 2000 
telling Dustin, if I die, I want you to know that I You're will. You're not going to die. In They're good people. Pool. I will ruin your pool in my ghost form. Know that. Okay? Don't let them in your pool. Come to find out. How are we looking? That has to be. That has to be. Oh, Romulan that's Rye? That's cologne, dude. No, that's got to be cologne. I'm sorry. That has to be cologne with alcohol in it. Oh, dude, it tastes just how it smells. It's it's not. Uh, it doesn't taste. Listerine? A little bit. It doesn't taste that bad. It. So potent. You know, if you, you remember when you were a kid and you're like, I need Do you all think the it's clones. like the, uh, oh. when you go to like it's a like barber shop, like that, that blue shit that they, they disinfect the cones in? You yeah. think it's that? Yeah. Okay. It tastes like gin. It does taste like gin. But it, um, it tastes like if gin. Zach Hen said Empress Gin. It tastes like if um, Adidas made, or Axe made gin. Oh, yeah. It tastes like that. It's on brand for their. For their young, oh my gosh, that will ruin my. Yeah, body. most colognes and uh, perfumes do have a little bit of alcohol. Well, there we go. Now that I've ingested that, I will. You see get to find you out what it is in Dustin and Kelly's pool. Oh, I don't even think it says is that. Like Sample the blue four, one. Three, two, no. All right. Okay. It's gin. It is gin. That makes it's very botanical, but it's got a um, cologne spice. But it's blue. But it's blue. Why is it actually? That's a good question. In Why is need it of a guy, dude. That's a, one of the greatest songs ever made. Ready, set, go! Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Don't give away Axe oh. marketing team anymore. Okay. Oh, trade you. Oh, this smells incredible. <sighs> this is gonna be there you tricky, go, Jacob. That sounds like a great spot, buddy. This smells incredible. It tastes almost like nothing. I don't want to drink that either. That's wild. What's my other false one? Well, it's got to be one of those. Pearl. It's pretty good. Um, Luke. It's not. Luke, honestly, um, I'm good. These glasses are honestly phenomenal. Um, we oh, have a lot of them. Shit. I truly love them. <sighs> this what this is ancient. This smells ancient. <clears throat> oh, it might. Be I don't. Fun. I don't. I don't know the name of this one. From the it? bottle? Yeah. If you're really close and you have the right intention, I'll, I'll consider it. Okay. Well, I know one of these is false. Age dated 14 years or older. Age dated less than 14 years. Really narrows down one of the falses. Ooh. It can't be this. 15. I don't remember the age statement on this. Shit. I don't want to switch it because... um. I already, I already locked it in. Um, I have two falses. Man, I, I have a hard time because I don't know which. I, I feel like there could have been three Fs if I'm right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't write a bottle. Yeah. Um, it, I do believe that this is um, really old MGP. Um, I, like the, the so Widow that. Jane, uh, like, like the proprietor or something like that. Oh, okay. You, is yeah, that I, what it is? No, that you're thinking Lucky Seven is a proprietor. Oh, what's Widow that? Widow Jane, the decades. Or, I know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, it's an older Widow yep. Jane one. Yep. That smells good. It almost smells a little flowery. What's in the, what's in the blend? Ro it, give me one. Schmickel. Okay. There's some, yep. some schmickel in okay. there. Because it's the same one I'm thinking then. Okay. I think you called it out MGP. like one time, yeah. I think. I think that's yeah. old MGP. I think that's old MGP. My problem is I, I got the Fs on wrong, Decadence? The wrong parts here. Is that what it was? Decadence might be one of them. It's, it's some Widow Jane thing that I think is what that is. Because they, they have older um, yeah, they schmickel. Have some, actually, they have some good whiskey, too. They're yeah. good at blending. Yeah. Does that taste it's not that good? Yeah, it's not that bad. But it's there. Oh, that is Dickel. Yeah. Oh, that is Dickel. Yeah. 100%. There's Dickel. In there. Yeah. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's do yours. Okay. Holy shit. The fact that you said proprietor. Lucky seven, huh? Not yours. All right. So anyways, 
Uh, oh, really? Oh. Um, I said it. True is a product of NDP. True. All right. Uh, age dated fourteen years or older. I said true. It's fifteen. True. Okay. And then false. Less than fourteen. Right. I said hundred proof or higher. False. That's you got them all then. Uh, I said true for under hundred proof oh. and finish in an unusual wood barrel. It's ninety nine proof. That's some tomfoolery. I would have guessed about ninety four. Honestly, because I thought it definitely drank super easy. I, I was guessing lower end. It's finished in Adirondack oak casks. Oh, what is it? Widow Jane, The Vault 2021. Now, are you going to give me that one? I mean, you can have it. I don't, I don't even know if we know the, that one. I don't know that we could bottle guess. I knew it was a Widow Jane. I, when you said that has to have Dickle in it, which yeah. makes, I want to give you the points because that has Dickle in it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Kelly, how do you feel about that? I feel like you should get the. You and I are never gonna get the the vaults twenty twenty one. Yeah, of the Widow Jane. It was it was an older one that I knew they did. I don't um, know if we've had that one before, but that has Dickel in it, and it's Widow Jane. I know she likes so, Widow Jane's older stuff. Yeah, she likes Dickel and Widow Jane. Yes, which is crazy. Um, I I, I would vo I think that I would lean into points because I don't think that like it'd be able to. Hey, Faderade Top Shelf, isn't that where you got that? Yep. That's where Sean just got those things at. Where, where is that at? Um, who where, said it? Faderade said, you guys been to Top Shelf in Metro Detroit area? Allen Park, yes. So that is um, uh, where my in-laws live, is the Allen Park area. So okay. I went there. They have stuff that's wildly overpriced, if that's what you're going to. I, I haggled them down. They have this, um, the, the Wild Turkey Generations for 700 and I still paid 600 for it because I wanted it. It's going to be... So yours is lucky seven, huh? Hey, Cheech. He said Sean's dialed in from Advent. Sean didn't. I only had one bad day of actually Advent. Actually, do well in Advent. No, I only had one bad day of Advent. There's no bottle guesses in Advent from yeah. either of us. I'm not even putting yeah. that on you. That's just so. Us. The first day that we filmed, we did six videos. Uh -huh. We I ended the exact same points behind sure. after six <laughs> days and then 24. Yeah. I mean, so I like fucked up. The first day, things, really. I was just all over the place. I definitely wasn't dialed in. You were all over the place the whole time. Yeah, that's how I won proof. Luke, will you post the absolutes in uh, chat right now, please? I'm going to pin that to the top. I will stab your hand. Uh-huh. And this is still very sharp. All right, Luke. Got a new I'm knife gonna, sharpener, too, for I'm going to wink my yeah. password, the, the, our YouTube channel password to you, and I need you to log in and pin it. Um, um, Dan beat me by 100 on proof. An absolute. Beat him by. Not, no, Sean was like 250 off. Absolute. Not, it might not have been 250. It was twos, though. I had... 230s? Mine? Absolute off. Oh, it was like two... It was just over 200, and okay, you were just, just over, over 100. 200. And so you beat me by like 103, I think. Yeah, Sean beat me... Sean lost points on proof three days and three beat times. me on total proof. Now, listen, I and I've said this in a Discord chat, Sean did win Advent this year. These were the rules. We'd agreed on all the rules. It's not like we didn't agree on anything and then we went into it. Now I'm up. Like, that's not what happened. We agreed at the beginning. Now, at the very beginning, we threw some fucking just random shit in there. Like, yeah. betting on points. We just have to, like... <sighs> Sean and I don't clarify shit because that's we not also how our didn't, brains work. We, yeah, we also like, thought about it two different ways and yeah, didn't think true. about what it that's meant true. at the end. That's very true. Yes. Um, that being said, I would just like to also Whoa, clarify... Oh, CJ, what the that fuck? Next year will be a... He goes, he clapping. won this year, but he's never winning again. And that is the most accurate statement that's ever been put into our chat in five years. So, um, uh, has that we, been three to two now? We will, yeah. We will. And it could have been three to two in my direction if I wasn't a, as a soon little power. started handicaps, you're getting in on the game here. You are. I won the first year. Right. That had no handicaps. True. Loss, loss, loss. <laughs> right? You're 1-0. Oh. Yeah. You're like the Lions, dude. Yeah. Started so high, dude. Mm. Beat the fucking Super Bowl champs. Yeah. yeah. I also had more victories in poor guesses. Yeah, overall. Yeah. That's true. That is That part is true. Um, Sean will never, on my fucking deathbed, will never win another Advent. All right. Well, if you're on your deathbed, you shouldn't be playing Advent. I will literally Advent. come to life to win it. So, mm. um... <clears throat> No, if we went absolute, it's an eight point swing. So I would have lost by yeah. three. Yep. My I was one thirty four off over twenty four samples. One thirty four to two thirty seven. So it's hundred and three. Yeah, see? No. Nope. Hundred so. and three. Um 
my bottle was Lucky Seven, fourteen year proprietor, which is so wild that you I haven't even like, smelled mine. You just yeah. were just calling the widow. Yeah. You were getting the names. I couldn't do that with them. Yeah, with Woodford and um, Turkey. I knew roughly it was a Dickel, old blended Dickel Widow sure. Jane. That I would have never came up with a vault. Um, age stated thirteen years younger. I wrote true. I don't know why I thought it was really old, and I don't know why I wrote true, but I wrote those true. were the it's only false. two that I were um, like changing on. Was it age? Was yeah, yeah. Um, in fifteen. I don't get a point for that. It is a bourbon junkies pick? I wrote false. Yeah. Uh, it's not, so I get a point. Age stated more maybe, than thirteen. Maybe Jonathan. I wrote true on that too, which also doesn't make any sense. So I get a point for that because it's fourteen. Uh, I think I misread the first one like an idiot or something. I don't know what I did, truly. Oh, Product I love of it. Kentucky, <laughs> I wrote true. It is true because it is Barton. All right. Product of an NDP, I wrote true. It is true. Hi, Whiskey brand has Hollywood ties. Did you know this? That's true. What's the... I mean, actually, from the artwork, that makes more sense. The artwork does make yeah, sense. Yeah, that like that that fits in. Namesake is derived I... from Stage Seven in Hollywood. Oh, I had no idea about me that. either. So I did not. I missed two points on that. I had bum. four again. Um, bum, bum, bum. Hey, really quick. Hey, got yours your was the same. The what? idea of us getting actual, like, truly headshotting a bottle from an NDP. Yeah. Zero. Truly headshotting a bottle. You didn't truly headshot a bottle. We're no. giving you the points because you yeah. were on the right train of thought. Yeah. And you and I don't even know what the fuck that bottle is. No. Truly headshotting a bottle from Smoke Wagon, Lucky Seven. Yeah. Widow Jane. What was the first bottle for you? Um. What was it? Oh, there's the Jack Daniels, the, the okay. taster. Well, and, but it was a pecan toasted yeah. one or some shit. Yeah. You guys are evil. Well, the tasters are hard. Dustin, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You got uh, that. You guys are evil. Okay. I got a distillery. Got time. Gas in there. I actually got two <laughs> by accident. All right. All right. All right. Drinking bourbon lends to creative rule making. Well, okay. Also, Advent this year was like we let you guys vote. You guys voted yes, so we just did it, and it was like we got here. Get it done okay. Now. Honestly, here's here's how it worked. Um, you can pick one of those now. Oh, fuck. Dan was going on vacation the end of November, right? Is end of November? No, it was be like middle, almost dead center. Yeah. Oh, any 14th. yeah, it was the beginning 14th of November. Or some shit. Um, I go, holy so shit, are, the are we one. doing Advent? And he goes, oh no. Um, I, said, I guess I that in October, he goes, didn't go anywhere with it. You uh, you, you just want to run it while I'm on vacation? You go, fuck yeah. No, we asked chat. Yeah, and they said to do it. Yeah, we let chat. And then vote. so we, I took care of everything while you were on vacation. It was kind of like we kind of were kind of like. Listen, everybody votes no. Yeah. Easy out. Yeah. That's beautiful. But it was 90 10. Sure. Um, that one was, that one's a trickery one. I don't know why that one, maybe wine. I don't know what that was. Um, but yeah, we just ran it real quick. Didn't even think about the rules. Just ran it back as last year. I don't know why it felt like so many more cards. Okay. We did, we, I overplayed one. No, we both overplayed. I overplayed two and you overplayed three. That's that guy's that one fucking rough. So we overplayed some cards at the end, which kind of made it felt more like a clown fiesta. <laughs> okay, I'm super sorry. I don't mean to get you off track. You good? Kelly said Dan needs to read your phone. I drank that and then read my phone, and Dustin said, Don't drink the entire punishment, take a swig. And I've killed both. Uh, the first one was gin from Cobar, colored with butterfly pea flowers. That's what Dustin said. Dustin, what was the red one? Go ahead. Sorry, back to your story. Uh, that was pretty much it. We just kind of ran Advent back as it was last year. We messed it up. We added the... All we did was we added the... Um, honestly, it was fun. I was glad that we did it because it was fun doing it. I had fun this year Me shooting. Too. Like, honestly, this year... I did too. Like, I think as we got into it, we had more fun it with it blast. because it was like, oh, shit, we have a month like of content yeah. where we just fun. get to hang out and drink for a month. Yeah, well, and you know what I think? You know, actually, I was thinking about this the other night, what I equate it to, we don't do poor guesses. Oh, yeah. And it felt good to... Yeah. Normally, it was like four poor guesses every Complete month. Complete change and then do of that. content. Yeah. And yeah. it was like, now, it was like, oh, this is fun because we don't do this every month now. Yeah. I do think that that felt, it felt better because we hadn't been grinding out the same exact content every month for fucking two years. Um, that's disgusting. We What's, said we were going to do um, the, the extra advent samples today. Yeah. 
That was cherry smoked gin, says Dustin. Is Dan's mic screwed up? What is going on? I don't on? know. Honestly, I feel like I'm talking normal. Give her hell. I don't know. Like, uh, oh, you fucking got it. Yeah, I got it too. Why is there a mosquito in December in fucking Michigan? So warm. Uh, Dan called me a jerk during my Advent sample. Well, I wasn't the best. Who was it? Uh, Atkins. Atkins, you know what you. Um, Bove sent the worst sample. Easily yeah. wasn't close. I don't even know who this second was. Oh, you know I do. Night Angel, Jephthah. It wasn't that, that bad. That Jephthah tastes like chlorine. It wasn't that bad. It's chemically induced cherry smoke gin. That's rough. Yeah. Uh, it's really tart. Really tart. I'm gonna. I'm let it be known. I have not drank any water between the samples. Also, summer bad vent fun. Oh, we took Christmas in July bad vent. Dude, here's the thing. Um, it was fun. It also like cannot, guys. It's an overload of content. And this month we had an overload on top of it. We did Advent and then dropped a video today, which we never do. Yeah. And then we have we're a video coming a, Thursday. I moved it to Thursday instead yeah. of tomorrow. Just yeah, to well, we need it anyways. Things yeah, we need it bit. anyways. So then, but then we're doing uh, our last video with Blind Barrels is on Thursday. Which, yeah. Okay. For those people who great are great box in September, you have by the way. To watch the there's a dusty. There is a whiskey that drinks, tastes, smells, feels like a dusty in that sample box. C. Yep. Yep. You got to watch that. And I, I literally emailed. I, I emailed them. I was like, I got to get a bottle of this. Yeah. It is a dusty. He reached out to Bobby and was like, dusty. I want that. It's yeah. dusty whiskey. It's wild. Anyways. That was a, a very fun box, honestly. That's the best blind box. We blind barrels. We've we have a had. bonus box that he said is all the favorites through the year, though. Oh, that's cool. We still got to try that. That's the ones that says. That's yeah. why they say I figured we just do that on a live stream yeah, sometime. That's a good idea. Yep. Um, all right. Yeah, we could do a week of bad vent. That's a good idea. Mm. That would be. That. That. Who, who was that? Who said that? David. David, that's a good idea. A week of bad vent would be fun. Especially if Luke comes up with some rules. Yeah. Luke and Brandon set it up for us or something. Do you know what we could do? Live pitch, just thought of this. We, I mean, Luke said he's working on new scoring and stuff. Yeah. We could trial run them. And, uh, and do one week. Yeah. Yeah, that would be fun. We could trial run a couple rules, a couple cards, a couple things like that. Yeah. Just let people vote on what their favorite is. Yeah. Yeah, the, we're, we're like removing the amount of cards for next year for sure. Yeah, Cook's just up there. We're definitely not doing that many cards next year. Um, we, we screwed up. And the reset, we screwed up because of the reset. Yeah, and so because there were we have to five too many in there. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's how many? You played there? three. I played two extra. Oh, shit. So yeah. there were a lot. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's okay. realistically is... three days yeah, that's of fair. the 24 were too many. That's fair. All right. Sample C. You ready? Yes. I was giving you a second mm, after that I'm not one. drinking water. I refuse to do it. Okay. I'm in I thought that reset. was out of stupidity. Nope. Nah. No, it's, it's just out of. Okay. Yeah, oh we should gosh, plug the this whole. Smells so this good. doesn't. Yeah, you know what? They mashed up their samples because this one smells great. I'm glad you didn't get the Dickel one because you would have headshot it. Uh, the only reason I would have guessed Widow James because of Kelly. Mm-hmm. Truly, was that why you guessed it? Yeah, 100. Yeah. Because I feel like one of the only people. Ooh, this one's tricky. Somehow missed some lower shot. Um, it was like David, you missed it. It was early. Day people got eight? really mad at Dev- us. No, one. day seven. People, so a couple people were really we did mad it to we each did other. It. Yeah. On, like, the second day of shooting, which was day seven, I think. Mm. I don't hate that. That's fantastic. Holy shit. Oh, my gosh. That's got one of... Holy shit. That is the most browned, the richest browned butter I've ever had on a whiskey, I feel like. It's so familiar. What is it? Oh, no. I don't know what to say faults on this one. These ones are not as straightforward. Oh, well, that one's one of them, obviously. But uh... All right. It's either eight or eight or under. So one of those is false. And then my proof, one of these is false. Oh, so it has to be this. And it has to be that. Oh. Because it can't be all false. You know what? Oh. This is one of our picks. What is it? We did a really good job. Oh, no. This be... Whatever this is. Uh-oh. I have screwed up. 
So that's, that's got to be true, sure. and that's got to okay, be wrong. Definitely. Okay, we, that's like Sean just said. We played too many on top of there being a lot, so it was even extra too much. Oh, this one's tricky. I, I, I think I'm losing some points on this one. I don't know what that is. Um, this is really, really good. It's got... Um, it's overtime. Oh, I'll just, I'll just fill those. Mm-hmm. Cheater. Anyways, um, that's fantastic. That taste... This is one of our picks. This Tell reminds me which one. That reminds me of like Russell's. Really? That one. This is one of our picks? We did a good job. Has to be, right? Look at this. Mm. Whiskey's proved at 120 or higher, under 120. One of these is false. Can't be both. Can't be both of those, which means that has to be true. Both of these. Yeah, it has to be the same. Yeah. It can't be. I took so much logic in college. These can't all be true. What's up, Kelly? <laughs> Fucking put the er on the end of the smart word for me. David, welcome to the BJ fam, buddy. Thank you for joining the family. We appreciate you being here. Bell Bib de Bove, Easter egg vent. What the fuck? Easter advent. Samples get hidden in Easter eggs that you select each day and open. Um, Rob Wersner gave like five subs earlier, too. If we didn't call Rob, that out. Are sorry, you buddy. Serious, Thank you. Dude? I, I'm so sorry. I, I read that earlier and then we were talking about something. It was a while ago. You know what I think my problem was? I think I just saw over it. Um, Jonathan, speaking of bring That's back really more good. guesses. Thank you, Jonathan, for the super chat. Rob, let, oh, there it was, dude. Rob, sorry, I was just sitting a little bit too um, high. Is that a four gate? Is it? It's really good. It's got to be age stated, whatever it is. Um, oh, I didn't do a bottle guess. Shit, I would have because I knew it was one of our uh, picks. Oh, I did you? I gave you my no, I didn't bottle guess. I think one of those is mine. Whatever one smells like uh, cherries is mine. Oh. Very good. Oh, it tastes like cherries. Yeah. Like real ones. Yeah, that one really sent me through a loop because I thought it was a Russell's. What is that? I don't know. That's weird. There. Um, yeah, my, my guess was going to be Russell's, but then um, it's just not working out for me. Rob, thank you for real money for the gift of members. Man. All right. Let's go through Daniels. Oh, and they gave you a 110 proof or two. Over 110 it or has, 110 proof or less. It has to be a Russell's. So much cherry. Or turkey. Dustin sample. Okay. Are you ready? I put true sourced. True. I put it was one of our picks. True. I put it was proofed at 120 or higher. True. 123.6. Which is false under 120. Okay. I got them all right. Unless. Eight statement. Eight shaded over eight false. True. Really? Yeah. What is it? I don't get two though. Eight years, five months. Okay. All right. Okay. Listen, stop. I literally didn't get a point in Advent on this same thing. Yeah. The, this What's is funny is um, the pick that it is is one that I thought on the first okay, hold on. nose I thought mine was. And then I tasted it, and I went, no, it's not that. It smells. How old was it? Eight years, five months. Oh, man. I did it's that. our backbone. Yeah, it's the in the stone it's our backbone, yeah. Yeah. I thought that's what I smelled here at first. I did not do very good on this one. Wow, so I, I will be that. getting a punishment. I'm so happy I bunkered okay. one of these. The first one, I said, finish an unusual wood. I said, false. It's true. That's Mizanara finished. For a second, apparently. Um, Project NDP, I said, true. Got that. Single barrel, I said, true, because I thought it was going to be a pick. It is not. Over 100 proof, uh, I said false because the other one is 100 proof, 110 proof or less. It's 114.4. Prada, Kentucky, yes, I got that true. So I only got two there. Wait, what bottle is it? That is Frank August case study number one. Well, what are the case studies? Are those single barrels? Never heard of that. Frank August is that. No, it's not a single barrel. It's that right there. Because I, I said single barrel, and this is false. What the hell is a case? Case days are their experimental, then. Yeah. I've never had a Frank August single barrel, and I like the... Dustin and Kelly sent that Frank August small batch when, they, when it released, and it's really good. Man. I think that it rivals Blue Run at a lower price. I, uh, I switched those two because I thought it was over at first, and then I was like, no, I think it's 110 proof, and I think it's going to be trickery, and it's uh, right. a Russell's. Yeah. There's a lot of cherry. I went a with lot. you on the cherry, and the 110 and cherry together make you lean into the idea. Well, it's four point whatever proof off. 
They're fucking dude. They have been very tricky. Oh, th- I don't have to do it. There. This is beautiful. You don't have to drink the whole thing. Is it good news? Um, the I do want to smell it though. That's just flavored whiskey. It ain't that oh, bad. Yeah, it does smell like um. Oh, there's a. Oh, it smells artificial. <laughs> it smells very. Oh, <laughs> um, that's like a oh a marshmallow, a fake uh marshmallow on the finish. It's higher proof though. Oh man, yeah, dude, this smells like a small. That you, smells. Hey Eric, some of us okay. got to drive. Later. Here's the thing. I'm gonna I, hit a few golf balls, but yeah, after I that, to, I gotta drive. I'm just gonna stumble. I, I didn't know that we. Listen, there was a text that was sent. I should have read it. Oh god. I did, okay, going in the last sample. How colorful those are. What do you got? I it's very like close. That you can drink something that color. Um, I have. I've just gotten four on each. Four, eight, twelve. I'm at fourteen. Man, because you really botched that gal. Yeah. You've, like, killed the last Because if I would have switched those two, one. I'd been at 16. Be- and I, I had them, but I, I flipped Damn. it because of the bottle gas, which Damn. is silly. I shouldn't have done it. Uh, as soon these, as you told me the age, I knew the pick. These are uh, uh, whiskey wisdom glasses. We're going to be selling them. We'll sell them. We have a lot of them. We have 250 of them. Thoughts um, on Minix Top 100. He put it out. Um, I'd love to. What is that do whiskey? do a whole video on it. What is that whiskey? Which one? The thing that I just drank. Oh, Dustin, what? What? Oh, we don't it's have not the lightest colored things. one. There, there's a darker and a lighter colored, uh, whiskey looking sample one. Okay, we need a stopwatch. That's why I picked up my phone. Um, I would... bird dog black cherry. It tasted like fake marshmallows. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. What's Does the proof on that? Like that? Probably eighty. That did not drink eighty. Um, the thing. That... Okay, Minnick in our profiles, never met him. Well, we've, I've hung out with him on a live stream. Got yeah. drunk with him on a live stream and roasted yeah. Matt. That was actually an absolute blast. Enjoyed the hell out of it. Um, the Fuck pre- your train. Yeah, we became really good friends on a one live stream, and we've never talked, spoke, or seen each other in person. So Because it just did a big show? Um, I would love to... Minnick's profile tends to lean into like nutty whiskeys, I think. Like some dickled 80 barrels. Proof? No. Some dickled barrels have, I think, shit. all the flavored bird dogs are 80s. Um, Minnick leads into like a nutty, that one. a nutty profile or palette, usually more yeah. than we do. Oh, yeah. He 100%. put B523 ECBP pretty high. No, I he put C923 high. I, know, I think, but I think, I think it was B like was, his ninth. But B was like 15. Yeah. B wasn't low on the yeah. top 100. He put double larcenies back to back. Yeah. And then what? What and I then think, George T. Stag at like fourteen or something. King Kentucky was below those larcenies, which is wild. The sixteen year. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We just. This is how I know we just like different things. Because you, we had that. I didn't see that. And we both. Well, those larcenies were top five. Oh, I'm adding. <laughs> um. Why? I would. Here's what I would like. Well, I read the list. I, I didn't read the whole hundred, obviously, but um, I, I grace through it. I, I I did the same. I like the top twenty. I would love to try. Do you know what was that Nashville Barrel Co. Because do you know what was right above Georgie's tag? What? Some single malt from Balcona's. Was it a black label one? Who Some of those are really the good. Fuck? Um, I really do. I, I'm I'm very intrigued by that Nashville Barrel Co. I think it was like six years old. Oh, okay. I, I, the I'm sorry. Fine. Six <clears> is <throat> probably the age statement. It could have had really old whiskey in it. I have no idea. If Nashville Barrel them, Co. has really good stocks. I want to know. We know that. Um, is it double barrel? But I lost a point at Advent because we of could that. just go there. I'm sure we could. Like that's a thing that we yeah. could do. Honestly, doesn't um, like over oaked whiskey. Yeah, he doesn't King like Kentucky 13th 16 Colony is Double Oak. Not over oak, though. No, oh, I don't think you and I would consider 13th either, but we do. Per- we like that profile. He I did- mean, I haven't had 2023 George T. Stag, but I've never once thought, man, over oaked. I don't think he put um, 13th Colony in the top 100. No, probably not. The double and it'll be top five for us. Yeah, it might, I, yeah. Yeah. I think it would be real high. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've, listen, Fred's. Palette just lines up with Fred's palette. It's Fred's, right? Like right, I'm only what two up. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it together on this. Are one? you really only two up? You bottle. You eight. got points on the bottle, I guess. Did and you eight. add those? Yeah. Four, twelve, fourteen. Oh, okay. Shit in the bed really hurts. 
Okay. That that yeah, sample that flipping those Damn. cost me two. Dude, all I cost I just should have not messed this up. Have yeah. we age state picked anything other than Penelope under eight? Why would um, I guess this? Under eight, yeah. The last two backbones we just did are under eight. But that I knew that wasn't those though. Are, Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, it also have to have an well those backbones were age dated. They were um, on the sides, yeah. But uh, that's neither of our new ones. I knew that. The four gate is eight. Realistically, I ones think. that we've. Dude, I think that this is a gimme, and I've messed it up. Um, our know. driftless are under. Our well, uh, wilderness trails were under. Yeah, and the wilderness trails the only other thing I could have guessed there. Yeah, one of them. I yeah. don't know which one, but one of them. Tony, bag of donuts. Merry Christmas and happy New Year, Dan and Sean. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the support, dude. Twelve months. Appreciate you being part of the fam. I should have thought of that too. Yeah, I messed the this uh, up. the cherry pie. Uh, pick. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, I still would have been off, but you would have. Yeah, it, that's, that's another cherry, one that could have been. Dude. Yeah. Okay, let's go. To I that honestly one. just went straight to turkey. Oh, this is the other thing. Really quick to talk about Fred's list. Yep. People are gonna be mad at him for this. The thousand dollar three seven five number can't, one. I can't even. It, it's it's a thousand dollars for all the three seven fives, not one. If it makes you feel any better. Um. It didn't. Now here's the thing: those thousand dollars of all those three seven fives could be a better value than that wild turkey generations, though. Could be. Could be. Could be. It, Probably not though. One number one of the year for Fred. That one of the other ones was like eleven. They were all pretty high. Like none of them were like bad. Yeah, you know I mean, we've already talked about why that one. I agree. The special yeah. now the buffalo tracing is super cool. Love that. True. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. Here's the problem with it. Cash grab. Thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. What? Hey man. Thousand dollars. Cash grab. Huh? Make it cash grab. You know what? Make each one of those three seven fives a hundred bucks. So I think they're five hundred. Did someone say they're actually two hundred mils? Nah, three seven five. There's fives. no way they're two hundred mils. I, I thought somebody confirmed that. Someone confirm or deny I'm, that I was I'm smoking nasty. hashish. Um, I thought they might have been two hundred mils. There's no way. Ew. Dan, he does that every year. <clears throat> Michael Dow, member for 20. Thank you for being you, a buddy. part of it, buddy. That's a long time. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Happy new year to you. Hope you guys have a great new year. There are two, there's no way. Okay. Yeah. That's that's even honestly, when you when they when it came out and it was a thousand for the three yeah. seven fives, I think there's five of them. I think. If there are five of them, I'm like, that's pretty pricey. That's a pricey <laughs> gal. Yeah. But you know what? There's clearly gonna be a market for it. That's all right. At 200 mils, it's even worse because you feel bad having a pour of it. Yeah. In a 375, you can have a pour and not feel like an asshole. It's 100%. a small pour, yeah. but you can have a pour. In 200 mil, that's a fucking lot sample. Yeah. That's a lot sample. We have definitely taken 375s from, yes. from like, barrel Literally. samples yeah. home. Yep. That's um, wild. Holy shit. Joe Sullivan, what's up, buddy? Mud Headed kip. to bed, boys. Working the holiday has me beat. Have a great fucking night. And hope it's smooth sailing for Gabby with the new baby coming. Me too. Here's my expectation, Mud Kip. They go to the hospital, pops it out, three hours. Good to go. I don't I don't know anyone that's had that. On their first one? Yeah. Me neither. But I don't know anybody that could have come back in the same football season. Okay, a lot of people are saying three seven fives. Okay. So a small amount of redemption. Three seven fives way better than two hundred. At one point I thought they were two hundred. So that's not um, bad. How many if there's accountability? If there's that's five, not bad. If there's five, idiot. If there's five of them <clears> and they're a grand. It's, January 9th. It is what I would like to see out of them being a grand is I would like to see exactly what that whiskey is. I would is. like five fifths. No, I want to know for you, a grand. You need to exp, you need to literally say this whiskey is truly a vintage whiskey from this time. Does that make sense? You and me right now don't know if that's new whiskey or old whiskey. Yeah. We have no idea. We don't know how old it is. Yeah. We don't know when they distilled it. I I want that. I will say I think we do well with age. I think we taste it. We go, all right, we know how old that is. Or if it's dusty. Yeah. 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 Yep. 100%. Now, Minnick put that one in number one. I do trust there, that it's phenomenal. It's been so um, far and few between that we've tasted something and go, man, dusty. There's been a couple throughout the years. So, spoiler alert. That have done it. The Blind Barrels box. Sean, yeah. I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. Yeah. And then when we read about it, we're like, that, now this makes perfect yeah. sense. Mind you, we expect craft whiskey, not dusty whiskey. Few and far, like your backbone, yes. and that waist dave. Just funky, weird, old. That notes. was a funky barrel yeah. with a funky finish. Yeah. So few and far between that that has happened. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, w- I just need Buffalo Trace for a grand. I need them to come out and say, we distilled that one in the 80s. We yeah. distilled that one in the freaking 60s. I don't care if it's even better. It could be it. all that shit out of the um the cooler. Then that, right. And I don't even or I don't even care if you said it's eight years old, but we toted it, but it was distilled in the seventies. Yeah. I'm actually okay with that. Because oh, yeah, all it's that still is, dusty. is it's yeah, just yeah. a distillery selling dusties, yep. right? I'm okay with that. You need at a grand, you need to start explaining to me why the fuck it's a grand. Man, do you think do you know how wild it been in like the eighties if anyone had that foresight? Holy Put shit. Put shit in the totes, forget about it for thirty years. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Apparently, Diageo in their Orphan Barrel series figured that out. Yeah. All right. Let's go to Sample D. Um, <laughs> Kathy <said>. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, I just listen. It's going to, it'll all, it's going to be easy and good and fucking did, crazy. Did your questions get wildly harder on Sample 4? Because, okay, I will say, yeah, I, I think a, my huh. questions on <laughs> Sample 2 were easy, like easier. Because, like, your question on Sample 3 this is felt my easier. One so far. Yeah, mine got. Hard. My questions on one and two were hard. Three was very was easier because I could rule. Yeah, out. two was pretty easy. Same Four reason. were back to a shit show. Okay, I'm gonna so. read mine real quick. First rye release for the brand. <laughs> oh. Whiskey was distilled, aged, and bottled in three different states. And then I have uh, more than twelve years, younger than twelve years, so that's fine. Distilled in Tennessee, distilled in Indiana. Oh, that's a bummer. Now here's the thing, you know one of the two, you know, you know which where the falses are though. You gotta figure them out. Yeah, it's bad. Those two, right? It gotta be falses. Yeah, it's like this one. You just gotta figure them out. Trickery though. It is tomfoolery. Twelve years is pretty hard. So was eight. To be honest, mind you, mine was eight and four months or some shit. It was, yeah. You're not wrong. So mine's going to be probably either 11 years, 6 months because or 12 years, 5 you, months. You know what the shitty part is? I just realized this. I put true to age state at 8 years or younger. It is age state at 8. It also just has a month. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fucking damn it, dude. And that would have What was on the bottle, though? That would give me oh, a it, it said 101 months or something like the, that. Yeah. They yeah, all so do. the exact yeah, month. They do yeah. months. And they do yep. babies. Like, my kid's 36 months old. You're like, it's fucking 3. Want to bet on it being Virtue Rye 1? Hopefully not. Um, it's not the right color. I can tell you. Uh, what is yours? Product of an NDP, yep. SRP over or under 200. Those are the next two. Cognac finished whiskey over 100 proof. A blend of at least three age stated whiskeys. <laughs> yeah, you know what, dude? I could write right now. I don't oh. have to drink it. I could just write true or false here and have the same odds. Yeah. Yeah. This There's is a, a guess. But like, that's a guess. Weirdly enough, I had like a couple that ripped through my mind. Really? That those could be. That's interesting. Yeah. So in th- the bottle would then, in theory, be age stated mm-hmm. based on the lowest. Mm-hmm. Also, doesn't have to be age stated. They could age state just the fucking sources. This is a nightmare. Are you ready? Yeah. You got you guys made this is you know what? Thank you for this dude. game, though. Yeah, uh, we appreciate you guys. Honestly, Love you guys. I didn't get any jerky or brittle, but okay. I know. Hey. What? I text after this. Uh, Cheech is 645 months old. What is it? This is not. What's your favorite sample so far of yours? What's the latter? Oh, the Tennessee. Um, I'm sorry. The Jack Daniels was really good. The The Widow Jane wasn't bad. Um, weirdly enough, it might be the Frank August Mizanara. Really? Yeah, because I didn't get the reason. Okay, I'm going to come back to it. How about that? I'm, I'm going to bump it up because of I didn't even realize it was Mizanora. All right. Yeah. All right. That's that. SRP over 200. Our I might have lied. This might be easier than I thought. Our backbone yeah, first. is better than whatever this is, and it might be $200. Chrissy said her first baby was six hours. And he was 10 pounds and 23 inches. Adding a small baby. Holy shit. That's the same size as Holden. That's fucking wild. Holden took 24. We have several friends that were like Luna was quick. over the, like, we'll call it 50 hour mark. High scores? Yeah. yeah. High scores. We call those high scores. Luna was quick. Luna was like, she's coming, she's out. We're I didn't good. hate that. I just need to know if it's under or, uh, oh, well, you know what? Done. 
just based on a hunch. Oh, uh, just a hunch. I don't, oh, have, no, I don't know. I don't have two falses. Shit. I don't have two falses. I'm just, I just wrote an F. I don't have two falses. No, you have two right there. I, I wrote an F on the last one because I don't have another false. Oh, that you is You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I ran out. That's got to be true. Why? Th- that's too specific to be yeah, false. Yeah, that's got to be true. It is. It's too yeah. specific to be false. I, I, did, I didn't realize it. until you said it that uh, where my falses were going to be. Oh, yeah. You did point it out for yeah. me. And I went, I it's think it was easier than I thought. Yeah. You know it was crazy. In my fucking... Because I read the first two, yeah. and it was like... Yeah. First rye release sure. for the brand. And then a whiskey was distilled, aged, and bottled in three different states. Would heavily imply it's a rye. <laughs> yeah. Just Come to find out, it's just bourbon. Okay. You're like, nope, wasn't. Wasn't the first rye, because it's a bourbon, idiot. Oh, I could have fucked it Definitely up. Definitely smells like lemongrass. Yeah, it's, got a, it's a got a rye on yeah. it. It's got a, um, like a black cherry lemongrassy. Palette. Smells good. I, this reminds me of the Widow Jane you thought yours was, which is that the one we have. It starts with a D. It's not as dickly as that one. I don't know what it is. Mm, I just don't. It's not dickle Who do we got first? I don't know what this is. We didn't buy this. Okay. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> we didn't. Uh, this, right. okay, it'll make sense. Okay. Um, we didn't want to risk this amount of money. How about oh. that? <laughs> Over 200, lost that point. Okay, product ND, NDP. True. It is true. Thank God. That's SRP over 200 I wrote false, it's true. It is $299, which means you're probably getting SRP under 200 wrong. Yeah. Um, I guessed it was cognac finished. False. Okay. I guess it was over 100 proof. True. And it's clearly a blend of three age stated whiskey. True. So it is a cognac finished whiskey, 14-year Tennessee bourbon, 11-year Kentucky bourbon, Indiana weeded double barrel, Kentucky old rum finished, and eight-year Kentucky bourbon. Is it has to be a four-gate. This is Jefferson's uh, Mariana McLean. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. Okay. When you start reading all that, I'm like, this is something four-gate would do yeah. is put all this stuff together. We didn't buy that okay. because we had MVP. no idea, and it was $300 when okay. we saw it. Sean and I almost bought it. Yeah. We Googled and found out there was... Tennessee whiskey. Ten, yeah, yeah, 14 year Tennessee bourbon. The reason we didn't you get it. You can smell it too. Um, was it over 100 proof? Yes. Yeah, it was 102. Okay, so I got that. And then I got three on that. That's it. All right. I, I, you, if you get one, if you get two, you win. <clears throat> I said first release for the brand. That's right. It's too specific to be false. Yeah. Um, and then whiskey was distilled, aged, and bottled in three different states. It was distilled in Indiana, aged in Kentucky, bottled in Tennessee. So check. Oh, in- true. Interesting. Aged dated more than twelve years. When I said false. It's fourteen. So distilled in Tennessee, false. Distilled in Indiana. I only got two. It's from um, Blue Note. Orphan Barrel Scarlet Shade. The rye. Yeah. Oh, it's a rye. It, it doesn't is. even have a rye. Really? That tastes like Dickle right now. I love these glasses, by the way. Truly? I, I think love you won. These glasses. No. Did you get two? I only got two. Oh, we tied. Motherfucker. This is what always happens. Gosh damn it, dude. I haven't won a rock. You know what I haven't won yet? A rock, paper, scissors. You do. That's Scarlet Shade. Yeah. It doesn't taste like Orange Scarlet Shade. Is that what I remember? I remember Not being sweeter. Do you? Yeah. I remember being very sweet. Um, I didn't think that was 12 years. 100%. Oh, man. I do agree on, I like, I get that it's rye. I think that well, that's something I would guess. I don't think I'd guess Orphan Barrel, and we like, oh, man. You really like that one. Yeah. A Fable and Folly is a monster for what it is. Yeah. And it's, and it's fucking proof range. It's that rare. would be under, though. Yeah. That was a burr rye. Yeah. Um, um, the older one was 14, I think. So that was their first rye. Yeah. I never put that together ever. Or Mills first rye. You guys did a really good job coming up with questions like that. Like Man. the first rye. Because I never thought of that. Or from I tasted that. I even smelled that and thought, Dickel. Well, it's got like a tangy... Minerality about it. Almost a So they put it in Dickel's warehouse apparently for 12 seconds and we're like, 
it's, it tastes like it. <laughs> okay, there's one basically naughty sample left. Um, what is it? I'll say it. So, oh, it's bottled at Tullahoma, obviously. All their stuff's bottled in Tullahoma. Yep. So where was it? Distilled aged? in Indiana. Yep. Aged in Kentucky. Okay. Bottled in Tullahoma. Well, our Barton was aging. Our five-year-old Barton was aged in Kentucky, and it doesn't <clears throat> taste good. In someone's cellar. You know what I think it is? Looking back, I think five-year-old Barton ain't it. The Kirklands weren't it. No, dude, Kirklands were better than what we got. Pretty good. We haven't tried to prove it down yet. Maybe yeah, that's what we need. It's hot too. It's like it's 120, hot. 120, upper one hey, twenties. If anybody finds, and we only want one of these, so if you don't, maybe if a bunch of people see them, don't all buy them. If anybody finds. This is completely not related, definitely. Don't even try to relate the two because they're not. If anybody finds a Kentucky Nulu that's around 133 <clears throat> proof exactly, will you buy that and, and we'll pay you back for it and we'll figure that whole thing That'd out? That'll be our Barton sourced. Well, okay. Now you tied them together. Mm-hmm. All right. I was not tying them together. I was untying them. I actually had separated them. So on shoot then? Yeah, on shoot. Yeah. Ready? Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Yeah. Fucking damn it, dude. <laughs> I swear to God. All right. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Shoot, rock, dude. No. <laughs> damn it. I really thought you were going paper. I thought you had it. All right, hold on. No, I need time. All right. I need a moment. I need a second. I got to re- recoup. You're a real paper bitch, so. Yeah. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Well, down the hatch, the three of the four go, and we tied on the game. You know what? Every time. That I either beat you or we tie, I lose. This is what I've realized. <laughs> <laughs> I won Advent, lost Advent. <laughs> Fucking uh, tied this game, lost this game. Oh, buddy. This smells like pure, pure butterscotch. Pure butterscotch. Oh, no. It's not, <laughs> it's not good. That's a palate record. It's, it's not disgusting, but it's like syrup. Oh, dude. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's I'm, a thick. I'm, <laughs> dude, I'm pretty sure the ones you had before oh. that like, were the worst, too, because this wasn't that bad. That's sugar. And that is literally that just is sugar. purely the viscosity of a melted sugar. That's 40 proof. That's, like That's a, a thick that, gal. I That's like a black velvet uh, flavor or something. Maybe. What is That's that? That's a thick old gal. Butter shots? Um... The viscosity on that's wild. Hey, bad. Dan would have won Advent if he started on day fifteen. I don't, Zach. I don't know what that fucking means. Do you know what I mean? Would do you know what that means? Would have that? <laughs> do you, oh, you meant wouldn't of? You said would have. You meant wouldn't have. Well, I didn't win anyways. Zach, what? Zach, are He's you? He's just a loser all around. You're high, dude. That's crazy. Ugh, jealous. Dustin Kelly, thank you for sending that game. That was a lot of fun. What is that, though? Pay back for the end. You did give events. us a couple um, free true faults. I gave you a couple. No, 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 like where we knew like over That's 110 true. proof, 110 proof or less. They could have made it more difficult for us, is what I'm saying. I'm glad they chose nonviolence. Uh, it was though. very dumb for me to guess something as specific as a blend of at least three age stated. False. Yeah. Like, I should have just won, because that's a hint. I literally could have ripped only one F here and won. You could have probably you just went I mean? all true. And won. Why did I not think of that? Well, because it was also based on your performance. So if you came through. I know, but I got two twice. I could have just said true everywhere and got four minimum. On every one we both could have. Yeah. Wow. But 16 is exactly what we got. Unfortunately, we got eight on one. Buddy, that has to be the bird dog black cherry. Oh, maybe. They, What's they, the other Kelly one? said the other one was wild turkey spice. That's definitely that because it's spicy in the back. It is. This this last one was. This that is makes more proof. sense. Yeah. That's track. Yeah. What is the wild correct. turkey spice? Isn't that 101? I don't know. But that makes way more sense now. Wild turkey spice is 101. 90? Dan let Sean win to soften the well pump debacle. Dude, here's the thing. We don't even have to spend more money possibly. Oh. It's yeah. free. We need new PVC. Well, four trucks locked. Well, we already knew that, though, thankfully. That's true. Thankfully, I didn't break the Small part of me thought it was going to be like... Dude, I told my dad about all this. They put a new board in. And he goes, I'm going to be honest. You 
at this point by now because i told him about the um the forward and back like sometimes the pedals do go the wrong direction me and your dad also had a, a separate chat because of the whole uh, dow chemical experience sure and he goes you guys will have stories to tell for decades yeah like with the fork truck oh 100 no, oh, yeah for sure that's the problem when you drive around like a six thousand pound vehicle yeah yeah it's just gonna things be... are gonna go all right yeah and we did yeah. Listen, that's the money we had at the time. <laughs> like, yeah. truly, to invest in a fork truck. That was truck. everything we had. And we needed a fork truck. Yeah. We, we, we had we, to have one. We've so. put everything we have at it. Otherwise, we pay for lift well, gate service. Spice is 86. Okay. So, but it's spiced. Yeah. So it's spicy. This tastes like... I it, think, isn't this one that you headshot one time? Yeah. Twice. Yeah. Twice, look at Look at how cloudy that is. Look how... That's got to be the bird dog. It's like right? piss, dude. That looks like whiskey, at least. Yeah. This looks like clear, or, you know... How do, we get, how do we get a 101 pick? Ryan. Oh, Where's Ryan out with that? Hey, let's see what Ryan's doing on this fine evening. Ryan, my boy, my guy, my guy. Yeah, realistically didn't think of the fact that I only had to get three right to win. Could have just said true to everything. True, 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 true. You yeah. could beat me. Well, we, have t- we would have still tied. Yeah, because you would have had... I, you were two back. We were still tied. Yeah. Because I could have done the same. You could have done tied. six and then would have had to have a bottle guess. Yeah. To win. And I wouldn't. What was that? It would Seven. have been eight. That was a bottle we didn't buy. That was at Jefferson's. I never yeah. would have guessed it. Beard oil. Are those beard oil samples? <laughs> <laughs> and then half put bone. Yeah, burn. <laughs> yeah, burn. Boon. Boon. Hey, Dan, I know your pack of drive like last Wednesday. I know you don't check messages in our relationship. We aren't there yet, says <laughs> Travis. Okay. Travis, listen, we do have we have some stuff to pick up at the old drop, at the old UPS drop. They haven't called us yet to complain. No. No, the no, no. no. The I'm one, on very good terms with them. I give them free. <clears throat> the one time I was in there, the guy's like. <sighs> oh, you got to talk to the right people. Let me go get him. The young kid with the glasses. Yeah. Yeah, he's not really into the whole thing. The the <laughs> the girl dark yeah, hair, yeah, very nice. She's a goat. Yeah. Um. There's a few there that like are kind of into whiskey, and so yeah. they're like they love it. So the one time I just brought them some of our picks, I'm like, you guys just have whatever you want. Now I'm just gonna bring them some of our shit. Like yeah. these are for you guys. Thank you for being awesome because yeah. they're really cool. store samples, baby. They're really cool. Throw them in the back room. Yeah, they're fucking having crazy, a bad dude. day. Let's make it not. She said she's like we had a Christmas party. We killed all three of them. I go what? How many employees do you have? Just that. Just a question. She's like six. Only two Bloody of us drink whiskey. It was eight. There were three that bottles, right? Three right. full 750 mls. I like it. If nobody brought anything else, eight people killed three bottles. That's still a lot. I like it. That's a lot. How's your friend from Colorado? That Barrel King news is awesome. Um, is that if you don't listen, that Barrel King news is some of the greatest news ever known. <sighs> Matthew Porter blending for Barrel King full as as a, as literally as a thing, like a full time. Oh yeah. Barrel King Blender. I think it's literally, I think it's titles Master, Master Blender. Blender at Barrel King. Yeah. That's the greatest thing of all time. Oh, I'm going to be so drunk next November. That's amazing. Why was not next November? I'm going to be December. drunk until November, buddy. Yeah. That's I, just called alcoholism. I'm on Milk Thistle already. What does that do? Good for your liver. Okay. I'm on tur- tur- Turmeric. Thank you. Okay. Already. Yeah. Good for your liver. All right. That's all I'm on. Just those two. But those are good for your liver. Hey, buddy, you held up two fingers. I thought we're at least going to three or four. I don't have three or four yet. I don't, I, I'll find the other ones, but these ones are supposed to be good for me. Fair. In my liver. Don't forget swordfish oil. Um, I do think... Fuck, we one, never got back to bread. Oh, we never picked one. Did you see the yield? <laughs> no. Seven. Hundred? It's like six eighty. Yeah. Oh no, I did see eighty mil. Like six eighty. Yeah, at, there, at the high proof, which is yep. I think you and I both are favorites with mm-hmm. the one eighteen or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, she's a gal. So I thought maybe we send. We could do this as like a collab pick. Maybe I don't know what to do. Us and Matt and Dara, Dara and, and yeah. anyone else who wants to run Maybe Bruce wants to jump in. Seven hundred bottles would be a lot. Seven hundred is a lot. Seven hundred is a lot. Seven hundred is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Dan and Julie want to jump in. Anybody who wants to this sell out before the link's even live. Seven hundred. Dan, Dan, dude, Dan is the greatest salesman of all time. He is. He's 100%. so good at like getting people Love to donate, that man. getting people to oh, jump yeah. on stuff. Dan needs to take. Uh, what the fuck? That is not a word, Kelly. Where? 
Ashwagandha. Ashwagandha. That's not the drug. That's those are everyone was talking about those ashwagandha for uh, dick. Dick pill. Yeah. Ashwagandha. Yeah. What is it? You know anything about it? You just know the word? Yeah. Kelly, tell me more. But not a doctor. <laughs> Kelly's kind of a doctor. She's just a teacher. Uh, Dan's been getting quieter all stream. Now he's practically whispering. I, guys, I don't know, man. The fucking oh. thing is ramped to the moon. Pick what up, weird never. clickbait hot tub? <laughs> After sheer disappointment. JMO, DC made this. DC made some crazy thumbnails a long time ago, and I, I was going through it today. I was making, I took a picture of our rise, and I was making a rise thumbnail. I was like, why am I doing this? I was like, fuck it. DC made these fuck. He they just recently posted. Yeah, there were some funny ones in there. In the Facebook group. Uh Aaron did say like an hour ago. He's like, dude, you guys should just tote some shit and lose it for 30 years. If we we have nothing um that I would love to tote for that long though. Oh, Kelly like said Like nothing in the current day age that I I'm like, damn, that's great. We have projects that we're working on. Like we we've started projects because we want the direction we think they'll head. Does that make sense? Oh, you know, we don't have the capital to also do that. <laughs> it's the real issue. You know what we could do? We could do we could do one of those little tabletop totes. Dude. <laughs> Hey, we put 12 <laughs> gallons away, folks. We're going we're gonna to get about 30 bottles, and we're going to sell them for about 200 mils, and they're going to be seven grand And fucking... I guess in the future, money will not be real someday. Like, that's just where we're headed. The way Buffalo at. Trace prices things, yeah. Dude, I'm going to be honest. Here's the thing. I saw the $1,000. I thought they were threes and fives at the time, obviously. They, they might, are. They, they, they are. They probably yeah. are. I saw the threes and fives. I swear to God, I thought to myself, I'd love to try them, truly. Like... I don't want to spend a grand myself. I do. I am very intrigued by them, though. You know what's funny, though? Dan just he already counted the accountability. Yeah. I'll raise the hand. Yeah. Already rose the hand. Can't even make jokes. Anyway. <laughs> uh, no, go ahead, dude. I'll re-raise it. I'll give you I'll give you a... Okay, there's down. I put the hand down. Go ahead, and I'll put it back up. Already fucking cost us a grand. And a thousand. All right, there you go. <laughs> Ayahuasca was what I was thinking of. I was watching the Pat McAfee oh. show today. I'm listening to the Pat McAfee shows. I'm trying to fix the fucking shit at uh, the distillery today. And I'm, I'm threading in this thing, and I'm listening to Pat McAfee talk to Aaron <clears> Rodgers. <throat> and Aaron Rodgers is like, dude, I heard that I'd be great friends with Flacco. And Pat McAfee goes, was he do ayahuasca too? Funniest shit I've heard on okay. ESPN. On One ESPN. of the most shining moments of that man's career. Um, him on game day. Are you talking about Pat McAfee or Aaron Rodgers? Yep, uh, McAfee. Okay. He's on game day. It's Georgia, Alabama. Okay. He goes through the whole Georgia, like, fucking fight song yeah. back and forth with the entire fucking sure. crowd at Georgia. Then he goes, give me fucking Alabama. Oh, shit. Are you serious? <laughs> the, <laughs> like, him going back and forth, just everyone in the crowd on his yeah, side. He goes, yeah. Give me Alabama. <laughs> Dude, he might be one of the greatest entertainers of all time ever. He might be. He might be one of the greatest of all time. The um it, it might be one of the best like game day like little quits yeah, ever. ever. Yeah, on ESPN too. He had the entire crowd on his side and then had the entire and crowd not and on then his side. Him, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I would say one of the greatest things. Oh, ever, dude, it was a legitimate like three minutes. I'd say back and forth. I'd say one of the greatest things he ever did was um, <laughs> return his own fucking uh, onside kick. That's wild. Is he Adam, the only one ever. To <clears> do it? You should say his last name. Last name. Mac McIntyre. Still McIntyre. Nope. As a hardcore Mac Georgia fan, that was fucked. <laughs> <laughs> dude, he's, fin uh, he's the comedy was I hilarious. I'm a big fan. Uh, I would say his other shiny moment, laying somebody the fuck out on the sideline as a punter. One of the greatest fucking sports clips. Yeah. You look up Pat McAfee highlights, they're good. He might be one of the biggest punters ever, though. No, at the time, he, he was. He, he, they just talked about this a couple weeks ago. They're like, you were jacked out. Huh? You're like one of the fittest punters in the game. He goes, no, nah, dude, I figured out I could kick the ball pretty chubby. <laughs> I just kept it there. He's a big boy. And he, yeah, he was like two. 220, 230. Oh, really? I would yeah. guess he played like 230 to 240, somewhere oh, in there. He said right now is the biggest he's ever been. And he's 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 on buying some gear. Uh, T uh, TRT, probably. He said, 
Ah, uh, he said um, he's been whispering some shit. All right. He's like, dude, I started taking that magic potion you guys have been telling me about. This is great. Yeah. I, feel I would guess he's on TRT. Yeah, okay. I hope he's on whatever he wants. He's but rich enough to afford it. He, he played it pretty big here. like for like a kicker. Yeah, for a punter, he's a big motherfucker yeah. for sure. He's about your size. The difference is, is he he's wasn't legitimately... afraid to run into people. Yeah. Other punters are afraid to run into people. Most punters are my size. Some of them. But they squat 500. Pat McAfee was like, dude, he goes, you got to check out these punters. They pull up some like of those ESPN body issues yeah. or whatever. There's a punter who is sh- shredded. I would Hold bet on. it's your chair. Nope. It's your chair. Nope. Cook's over there sleeping. What was that? It was your chair. It was just hitting perfectly. I Dude, would bet most left. punters are under 210. I believe that, yeah. Pat takes four official. There you go. I love that guy, dude. That so when I think great. he's 230, 240, big punter. That's a huge punter. Yeah. I don't think he was 240, though. He looked big. He just, he he just looked like, big. I wasn't in shape. He said that. He's like, I wasn't in shape. Well, he's a punter. What the <laughs> fuck do you have to be in shape for? Lay somebody the fuck out. Yeah. Hey, buddy. K. We're going to long snap you the ball. Can you boot it anywhere in the field? Here's a good punter. Perfect. Here's a good punter. That's all we need. We need you to place kick as best as you can. High to the moon so someone can kill someone. Yeah. Today, Aaron Rodgers comes on. There... I do like when they bring Aaron Rodgers on because A.J. Hawk and Rodgers played... It's just a little... Obviously played together. So just a little jerk every time he comes out there. Opposite. So today, because A.J. Hawk and Rodgers played together, yeah. and A.J. Hawk's one of the GOAT linebackers. He's, okay. he's somewhere up there. He's not number one, but he's up there. A.J. Hawk, it gets brought up today that in a scrimmage, A.J. Hawk laid Rodgers yeah. the fuck out in a scrimmage. In, in, hey, man, red jersey. Dude, Hawk goes, listen, man, it was a sold-out scrimmage. They sell tickets to these because it, oh, it was at Green yeah. Bay. Yep. It was a sold-out scrimmage. And then he goes... Rodgers gets off because he called AJ an asshole, basically. And then he gets off, and they go, hey, what happened with Rodgers in that game? Because AJ didn't say shit. And he goes, well, what actually happened was they ran a 13 play. Fucking, they got the possession yeah. in a scrimmage. And he goes, Rodgers is wearing a red jersey. We're not allowed to do anything. Yeah. Right? And he goes, Rodgers runs in for a touchdown. He jumped over a DB at one point. And he goes, all of the DB's hands are out like this. Yeah. What the fuck are we supposed to do? We're no not allowed to hit you. Yeah. And he goes, we go back on the field. I lay him the fuck out. I clothesline him straight up. <laughs> and, and You either to, better to, not run the fuck yeah. at me or throw, throw, the, throw the, the fucking throw the ball. Fucking yeah. Ball. And AJ goes, if I touch you, dude, just know you should not be throwing that ball. AJ goes, I laid him the fuck out. And he goes, crowd cheered, offensive line pissed, all of the DB's in the defense, high five. Woo, oh, yeah. yeah. And he goes, but... Throw the fucking ball, though. We're not allowed to hit you. Get rid of the fucking ball. And I was like, A.J. Hawk may be the greatest fucking human being of all time. Luke said average kicker, six foot, 202 pounds. Six to 202. Yeah. Damn. A little bigger than I thought. Explosive as fuck. Yeah. Explosive as fuck. My my range would be 185, 195. I, I, would, would, I, would, I would guess under 200. I would believe you in the under yeah. 200. But the problem is when you walk out, like some people look small in the field. Yeah. And you're like, no, all right, well, bitch. Look, well, because everybody and else then is you're a like, giant. oh, they're six four. What the fuck? Everybody else is a yeah. Viking is the problem. It's like looking at NBA players. Yeah. You're like, oh, he's little. Oh, that's even. And you're like, really oh, he's six different. six. Yeah, like, what that's the different. fuck, dude? Like when you we the last. How tall is uh, Le- LeBron? He doesn't look that tall. Six seven, six eight. Okay, he doesn't look that he's tall. He's a monster. Yeah. yeah. He's a freak. And then you're like, yeah. oh, if I met you in real life, you'd be like, hey, what's up, buddy? Yeah. LeBron's like two thirty six seven. 240, 6, 7, somewhere in that range. He got to be 250, 6, 7. Maybe. But he's, he's in that range, though. Dude, the, when we went and saw. Um, the but Packers I know what you look like Lambeau. at 250. No, no, no. And you you're not 6, of, 7. Think of somebody in very good shape. Fair. Shredded. All, what is he doing? Working out. Eating yeah. tacos, working out. That's Running. It. Eating tacos, working out. Yeah. Um, when we went, when we went, your chair right when we right went to Lambo. Okay. Oh, I found it. There is literally a bolt working One its way out right is, now. And there's a there's a, a washer just hitting it. Um six, six eight, eight two seventy. Okay. That's a big boy. Dude, six eight. Is he really two seventy? Has he always been two seventy? Two forty would be jacked at six eight. 
I okay. Now I should. It, he is older now, so that is. Well, now I got six nine two fifty. I don't know what to okay, believe well, anymore. Still somewhere in the general vicinity, I guess. Tall as fuck. Just I didn't think seven? he was. I thought LeBron was only like six six. Man, that's wild. Six eight, six nine. Tall as um, fuck. He does not. When we that went to Lambo, Clay Matthews wild. ran out. Oh. And uh, and I went. Oh wow, that's a Viking, huh? Yeah, it's a real Viking. It's a real fucking Viking. Fucking crazy. Like when yeah. you're when you sit in seats where you see NFL players and you see them, yeah. Oh, that's different. That's very we different. saw Thor. Yeah. He would be literally jumping off long ships. Yeah. And you've been like, fuck. Yeah. Hopefully an archer takes him out. Oh, it's fuck off. Because that man yeah. is about to fuck up eight of us. And and then continue on. Yeah. And then after that, he's gonna do some yeah. other shit. Yeah, big boy. Yeah. You know, dude. I don't know how this got in my algorithm on YouTube shorts. Yeah. Eddie Hall and Brian Shaw are like good friends now. Oh, yeah. It's the greatest thing. Yeah. If for, for content's sake, it's great. Eddie Hall, nowhere near as big as Brian Shaw. God, no. Not even close. Brian Shaw, I think, is, is a he was like 6'8 when he was doing um, Strongman. Strongman. Yeah. He was about four. And Eddie Hall's four and change. Yeah. For the- also was like upper threes. Yes. And at like six two but I still or think six, six three, two, yeah. something like that. Somewhere around there. My height, a hundred pounds more, the strongest man on the planet. Yeah. Up the top five, whatever. So, anyways, they're in a gym together and they're shooting something. They're shooting like fucking content for somebody else. Yeah. Eddie Hall walks up behind Brian Shaw with a medicine ball. Probably weighs more than you and me. Could probably 80 pounds, yeah. yeah. Probably. Throws it and hits Brian Shaw on the back of the head on purpose. Yeah, but his neck is bigger than your leg. And Brian Shaw turns around, and you can tell he's like, who the fuck? You yeah. know what I mean? And he sees Eddie, and he runs over, and he grabs him, and I'm like, this is fucking... You're talking literally, yeah. of all time, two of the five strongest human beings of all time. Oh, yeah. Right there. He makes Eddie Hall look fucking tiny. tiny. Yeah. And then he takes a medicine ball, like he's going to fucking murder Eddie Hall, and I'm like, you better run, bitch. He might kill you. I'm pretty sure his wife's like five foot tall. Fucking Throw that insane, in there. Dude. Who? Brian uh, Shaw's? No, 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 no. Eddie uh, Hall's? Um, I was thinking Thor. Sorry. Oh, Thor's wife is Thor's small. wife is yeah, like five she's tall. She's small. Um, she's like Shaq's wife. Or is it Shaq's wife? Yeah, she's tiny. I think she's like four she's foot tiny. tall. Um, Shaw's wife is not a big girl either. Dude, Shaw's a fucking right? monster. No, I he might have married an athlete. I don't know. I don't yeah. know who Shaw's wife is. I know he eats a shit ton, though. The mountain's wife. The mountain's yeah, wife. Yeah, she wife. is a tiny person. She is, she is small. Yeah. She's tiny. Dude, to see Thor, Eddie Hall, and Brian Shaw in one spot, you're like, oh, cool. So nobody could ever be stronger in that room ever. Like yeah. That's how that equates. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's fucking it's terrifying. And they could be out of practice. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you know I mean, doesn't matter, though, huh? No. Both of them are still going to go grab 600 pounds like it is. Oh, buddy. Child's you play. could probably go to seven, eight. Yeah. yeah. Child's play. Just pick it up. Yeah. Pick that up. Hey, Move man, it around. Pick that up. Sure. And I'll walk around this building Brian, twice. Was, who was the one that was on the Mr. Beast video recently? What? Yeah. Mr. Beast team had to try to lift up the back of a car. A oh, strongman event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three or four of them could not pick it up. It was either Brian Shaw or Eddie Hall. Yeah. Walk over and just start repping it. Because it's no a shit. strongman. Yeah. yeah, that is an event. Yeah. And they just start repping it and they're like, what the fuck? And it was like, there is a comprehension. When you get strong, there's a comprehension of this is how strong I am, but this is where people exist. Yeah. And those are different planes of existence. One of them does Robert Oves. Yeah. One he's of big them boy too. He's not in the Milky Way galaxy. One of them's from somewhere else. And then you, like you said with Thor, that motherfucker's family jumped off a boat to, oh, to raid, dude. to storm somebody's land. <sighs> and when that motherfucker's family jumped off the boat, all of them thought, Fuck, dude. Yeah. We have to run. This is not fair anymore. We have to flee. This yeah. is the only option. Because fighting them isn't one of the options. Pistons won weapons. a record. For what? Lost 27 In straight. a row. Broken. Here, really quick. Broken NBA record. Because people don't know this. This was all off the record. Sean lost the Lions bet this year. He did. That would have won. Sean might have won every other year ever. I bet they won. Since we've been alive. Yeah. <laughs> Broke a 29-year snap. 30. 29. This is the first time in 30 years. 29 years that we've made it the playoffs. Oh, this is the first time in, thir- was it 32 years they've won their division or something? I thought it was something like that. It's something like that. Yeah. 
It's wild. Yeah, we suck. Did you see? Uh, <laughs> did you see Dan Campbell pouring beer on his head and shit? His own head. I'm like, you know, he was him. a part of the Owen Sixteen Lions. Oh, is he? Mm-hmm. He's a big motherfucker too. Mm-hmm. That man. Hey, that guy'll eat you. Ninety three. That count. Yeah. 19 years. Since 93, they made the playoffs. Years. Sorry. When's the last time they won their division? Is that the same time? Probably. Okay. We were children. Yeah. Buddy, I wouldn't know that I was alive. Shaq's wife is 5'7". Seven. He's 7'1". Seven She's one. shorter than Ricky. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Ricky's 5'8"? Mm-hmm. I think uh, Gab's 5'7". Let's see. So she's a normal size human being. Who? She's just standing next to someone that's seven one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Damn. She's she's, she's a small frame. She's, she's a small dick person. Height she's at well, five seven. Okay. Okay. Thirty years being a Vikes fan, I hated the loss, but hooray Lions. Hey, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest with everybody here. I did think before the game, I said it in a Discord chat. I thought the Lions would lose to the Vikings. Oh, okay. It My was thought close. was two injuries doesn't matter. We won't make five hundred. So really only like all a team needs to really get fucked up. Two injuries. Two injuries. Oh, they have a lot of injuries. Yeah. They have injuries. But I'm I'm saying like They started so strong, dude. You lose They started so strong. A uh, running back. I know, but what they you start lose, fucking uh, six and two? Yeah. Like they started strong as yeah. fuck, dude. Like th- listen. No matter what, it, luck is always gonna be part okay, of it. Okay, this is a rough yeah. statistic, so take it with a pound or two assault. Yeah. Weeks one through six. Their offense or their defense was like 10th to 12th in the NFL. Listen, also, shouldn't beat the Chiefs. I mean, right now, they probably still wouldn't, but. Shouldn't have lost to the Bears. But you know what? Every now and again, things happen. What happened was, week one through six, they played really well, truly. Oh, yeah. They said that their defense went from, I think, 10th or 12th. Week one through six. To 32nd. Seven to 14. They were bottom five defense. Yeah. That it is a coin is a light switch, dude. Somebody just went, turn it off, we're done. And their offense has to score thirty or more, they lose a the game almost every time statistically. Out of they've had to do that our entire life. Well, but the difference was is week yeah. one through six or defense was great. wasn't like that. Yeah, they have four wins where they scored below thirty. We, I mean, we had Kelvin Johnson. Fucking wow, we have Laporta now. Yeah. Hey, what the fuck? We got a rookie. Is it Gibbs? Broke every... Gibbs is a running back. Yeah. Gibbs is a monster. he's been a monster this year Laporta's, for us. Laporta will go down, possibly, as like a Kelsey level, a Gronk level. Kelly right Johnson after. had literal fucking rules made well, after buddy, yeah. his fucking the play. Is, the difference is if, if Calvin Johnson was just would have went If to Calvin Tom Johnson Brady was on any other fucking, team, he'd be... Uh, like, it wouldn't the, even be a question the, of... The one. One of the best wide no, receivers D1. to ever play the game. He's that on the line. And be one of the like most like walk in Hall of Fame players ever. Yeah. Yeah. If he would have played with Brady or Rodgers, could you imagine Calvin Drew Johnson Brees with Gronk? Or yeah, those Who the people. Fuck do we like, card? If you, like yeah. If you play well, two of you take him, two of him take him, and hopefully they don't have a fucking slot receiver or running back. Yeah. Yeah. Still catch you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna jump over you because he's fucking seven foot tall. Yeah. And he's got a forty two inch vertical. Oh. Whatever the fuck it was. Like Calvin Johnson's build a little different. Yeah, but Barry Sanders is like before our time, I'll say, realistically. <laughs> Aaron said Laporta could get his back snap next week, no one will remember him. But he won't though, right? Because that's the thing. One of well, okay, hear me out. If we go anywhere postseason. We won't. It'll be a first round loss. I would be willing to bet hundreds of dollars on it. I don't but I'm I'm saying that without knowing who they're gonna play. And I'll bet hundreds. They could play the Bi- Vikings again. No. Who would they have? Who's the options right now? The Vikings are somehow an option because the Vikings could win a wild, wild card, card and get in. Okay. No, the Vikings have to win the out. Yeah. Though. Okay, okay. Which is beating the Lions. That's wild card. Yes. All right. Um, who else is NFC? I don't know. I don't know who is. Could they play the Seahawks? Who else could they play? Yeah, the Seahawks. All right. Okay, they could play the Seahawks. Seahawks beat the fuck out of the Lions right now. Guarantee it. They've been playing well. I'd bet money on the Seahawks right now. Because who's Aaron everyone? You would take the hundred, dude. You're who's everyone insane. think it's going to be? It's. Uh, the Ram- oh, nine- the Rams. That's Rams. Rams. Yeah. So oh, we could Stafford we could we could host the, the Rams. Fuck? That was what it was. We could Dude, host yes. our first postseason game ever with our previous quarterback, who won the Super Bowl at the Rams the next year. We let him go. 
who will then again beat the fuck out of the team. Buddy, the Rams are playing out of their mind right now. The Rams will beat the you fuck out of You don't think Stafford's coming in full brick up with six Viagras deep. With Cooper Cup? Hey, man. We're down. Hey, fuck. Hey, if you don't think Cup's putting down 120 yards in that game, it's going to be dick out. Yeah. And the defense been shit in a bit. So the Lions defense is currently one of the worst. Yeah. In the end, it's fucking miserable. Good news is bad. offense also one of the best. <laughs> the that's the thing. If Jared Goff, if Jared Goff is protected, he's fucking incredible. Yeah. If he's got to make these shitty decisions, time. he's just not. Well, it was the exact same argument that everyone had with the fucking well, well, with Matthew Stafford. If he had given time, I know he and was then he great. Went to a different team was like, watch my Super Bowl ring. Bitch. That had an offensive line said, "Hey, you know what? We'll give you at least five yeah. seconds." And he goes, "Well, you know what? Let's win a goddamn Super Bowl, dude." So here, so this happened. Joe Flacco. I, so I didn't know this part of it. I, I knew about the game this week, but I didn't know previous. Right? I didn't know Joe Flacco was calling teams because he wants to play. So Joe Flacco is calling teams to be their quarterback, like backup. Suppose no to start. So supposedly, so this has been the worst season I think ever in the NFL ever for quarterbacks, starting quarterbacks. I think 54 quarterbacks have started in the NFL this year, which is maybe the most ever. Oh, because we've gone through so many so like many backups. Yeah. So many people. So many, so many pull that statistic for me real quick. But is I, that it's, the most? It's, it's in the 50s of starting quarterbacks this year, which is one of the most ever. Yeah. You're almost two per team. Right. Which yeah. is a huge it's problem. Wild. Which is yeah. a huge problem. So Flacco's calling team. And going, hey, I want to, yeah. I'm good. Let's rip it. I've been a dad. I've been doing shit. I'm whatever. The Browns pick him up. Last week on the Browns, went the fuck off, dude. One of Flacco's best yeah. games of all time, they said. So now they're like, is Flacco like back? Like, did he come out of fatherhood and just become I did like not an see incredible this game. quarterback? Dude, he's fucking. Uh, Who'd they beat? Dude, a 48 this year? I think it's over 50. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's over 50. Who did the Browns beat? Oh. I didn't watch it. Who did the Browns beat? Obviously. I don't know anything about the Flacco. Fuck. I don't know who they beat. He went the fuck off, dude. 48 different quarterbacks to start. They beat the Texans. Right. Okay. Yeah. And the Texans have been in and out all season. Mid. Beat the fuck out of them. Yeah. Just fucking just dime, dime, dart there. Oh, 40 yard end zone in his hands. Fucking wild passes. Crazy for real. Right. Like looking like Tom Brady accuracy on the Browns coming off a of retirement, basically. Wild shit. Now they did say No Johnny Manziel. They yeah. also did say that, like, listen, if like this is one game. Yeah. It, now if you he had a highlight this, career. If he does this into the playoffs and they win some games because of it, he's getting yeah. a contract next year for sure. Because he doesn't have a contract, man. He's on a fucking like free. Browns are like, shit. ah, fuck it. It's wild. It's fucking wild. Yeah, I like it. Texan stars were all hurt. Everybody's fucking hurt. It's the wildest thing in the world. It happens every year, though. Apparently, Everyone turf is a about... nightmare. Yeah. Apparently, turf is like fucking killing everybody right now. Easy though. Apparently, the Vikings are switching to turf now. Even with all the statistics and the analytics, they're like switching to it. Yeah. It's like the weirdest. I don't know. Yeah, but you can pay money up front once and just have it. It doesn't. Right. The upkeep really. Is really. Yeah. The upkeep's yeah. wildly different. But apparently, it gives you cancer and breaks people's ACLs. Uh, MCLs, Achilles, yeah. legs. Yeah. Lamar Jackson. Dude, here's the thing. Here's here's like the takeaway that, though, truly. That fucking uh interaction. Because I was like, I was we were chilling. Yeah. I w- didn't watch the game. Everyone's losing their shit. Which game? Safety. Which game are you talking about? Safety. Lamar Jackson. Okay. And I go, bullshit. It was a bullshit. What the call. fuck it happened? Was a bullshit call. And I go, a ref tripped? And then tripped him. <laughs> and tripped. And then they tripped go, him. The they, most bullshit call of all time. I go, I don't know how everyone's going to take that. Dude, how does, how does a ref come off the sideline? Throw everyone's a, talking, talking that script game. I'm going to be honest, dude. I'm going to be never, honest. Yeah. As somebody betting on FanDuel personally, I'm out. There have I been, yeah, there have been some wild over-unders that have, like, missed. There's a couple of games that people have, like, uh, need it yeah. instead of hitting a uh, field goal yeah. or something like that. It's fucky. It's fuck. You know what I think it is? Betting needs to be private somehow. You have to keep betting away from the team. There can't be odds, yeah. You, you can't put betting. Uh, betting is so public now. Yes. The NFL can't know about the bets. 
Like I agree. Vegas, I agree. It's, there, it's there, like there, separation there, of church and state if it were real, which is not. But, but if it were, it would be. Yes, knowing the odds yeah. on something should go like dark at yes. the beginning of a game. Yeah, and then just everyone plays. Yeah, and cut it and yeah. cut it. Be. Because it out the the line will change through the game. Lamar did run backwards. This is the thing, Lamar. But also, I also don't expect hey, a quarterback. You, you also or, I'm can't sorry, throw a, as a quarterback. Yeah. You can't throw an intentional grounding on a pass that he was throwing as he was falling because a ref tripped in front of him. Yeah. If there's no fucking hurdle, then there's then he just throws it out of bounds thirty yards down the field. It's not intentional grounding. This yeah. isn't a complicated situation. And Lamar Jackson can throw the ball thirty fucking. He yards. He could have kicked it out of uh, bounds Holy and shit. had the Lamar same cut. Lamar could have underhanded it into a non-intentional grounding like yeah. part of the field. Dude, when a ref trips in front of you, it should just be a fucking that's fucked. We're done. I don't know. Plays dead. Yeah. Plays dead and call it back to the fucking next next play. Refs apart the field. Then stand your goddamn feet. It's as simple as that. Be more athletic, dude. Holy shit. That is the worst call I've seen in the NFL this year. And there have been some bad ones against the Chiefs. Like, it's fucking bad, dude. There's some bad ones everywhere. Dude, I... Did you see the uh-huh. uh, roughing the passer I'm not a Ravens for fan. Uh, the it's Lions? Crazy. The what? The the Lions got uh, one against uh, for golf, no. roughing the passer no. in that game. Man, he got tackled, and he laid up. Are you serious? And they called. They got up. rough in the past, and I was like, oh. "Dude, it's insane." The, this is they, the worst. They got here. some bad calls given back at the end. Sure, but I go. Yeah, but what bad. are we doing? Though? We got three points out of it. They got seven. Sure. So I go, "All right, we'll wash that one." Sure. Um, but like, there was some calls. I was like, "What the fuck?" Dude, the rest is. I go. Tom awful. Brady would have stood up and been like, "Come on, yeah, you can I, hit me." I, dude, they've made it so you can't touch quarterbacks. Yeah, which I get. To some like there's an extent in which I understand what they're trying to do, but the problem is is like you have quarterbacks. Who I get run. protecting. Yeah. When Dak Prescott can run out of bounds or juke in, and you're not allowed to touch him if he goes out of bounds, but if he comes in and you didn't tackle so, him, he gets thirty fucking yards. Like in college, I don't remember who did it. Someone did like a fake slide. They went to slide and did like a slide cancel almost. Yeah. And then got up and ran for a first down. Yeah. And the guy was like, Hey, what do you want me to do? Where we at with I'm this? Not allowed to hit him. Changed it. Yeah, and they were like, "Hey, can't do that. Yeah. If you're going to slide, you have to commit to a slide. You are not allowed to intentionally fake that because they're gonna lay up. Sure, obviously. We go. Yeah. Well, you're just not allowed to like. You're not allowed to lay a quarterback out. Yeah. So if they're running down the field, yep, pick it. There you go. If you're not, you're not allowed to run down the field, or you're not allowed to lay them out while they're running down the field. You yeah. You got to be gently set them down like yep. a child at night when they're sleeping. Yeah. So safety was like, hey, I'm going to get, it, get but... a fucking 15 yard personal fucking penalty if I lay you the fuck out. Yeah. Laid up. Yeah. Kept running. Yeah. And went, cool, man. Mike Scott. I'm going to says... fucking murder you the next time you even think about sliding, though. Yeah. Uh, Mike Scott says, stick to bourbon and leave the football to the pros. Oh, you you in the NFL, Chief? Oh. Oh, you're not. You're not you, on... Who do you play for? Oh, what analyst? Do you, what, which one are you? You're not? Right. I so can't anyways, wait. He's like, I was a tight end for it. Yeah. So anyways, uh, Mike Scott, since you are an analyst and you weren't a pro, uh, how about the fucking, how about Mahomes and Andy Reid getting fined for shitting on refs? Let's talk about that then. You think that's fine? Like they're protecting shitty ref calls with $50,000 fines. Is that fine or is that not fine mm. or? Yeah, I mean, I'm also not very good at lip reading, but I could see the um, Taylor Swift yell "fuck." No, the uh, the head coach for Minnesota when they got that rough in the pasture, it was what <laughs> the <laughs> Taylor Swift yelled "fuck" on camera there. That was incredible. You don't have to like Mahomes. The fact that they're fining somebody fifty grand for saying that the refs fucked up is the incorrect thing to do. What like your chair. Huh? Oh, there it is. It is. Yeah, yeah, it's gotten worse. It's just gotten worse. <laughs> it sounds like a bird in here. We really need to tighten these up. Yeah, they're bad. They're I really hand tighten mine today. It's against the NFL rules. It's against the NFL rules to call a ref out. That's fucking NCAA. 50 grand. USFN. Oh, <laughs> Dude, whoa. I, just, I, I don't did, know about that. I just don't. It, <laughs> if you agree that the NFL should be allowed to protect the refs who aren't full time, I don't know. The refs aren't all full-time. I learned that this year. 
that the most almost all of the refs are part time oh, employees. Mike, I can I can put this in perspective for you. He said uh, NFL is a bunch of overpaid crybabies. You should start them. watching F one. You want to see some real overpriced crybabies? I mean, well, not all of them. I mean, you could put your fucking mental health on the line for millions of dollars if you were athletic enough. Which I assume if you're not in the NFL, you're not. But it's possible, right? I mean. There are bad calls in every. There sport are a hundred percent. One of the one of my favorite NFL calls I've is seen in a long I don't time. remember who it was. I think it was like Angels, Blake, I someone agree, else, MLB pitch thrown. The batter starts walking out of the box. The catcher starts walking. <laughs> they both think it's strike three. Sure. In stop, he goes ball. They both go. Batter walks back the fuck up and goes. Because it does have... The listen, catcher just looked at him and goes... Well, this is also the what? problem with, like, the, the human element to these is there will be incorrect calls. Yeah. The problem MLB, is when there's a game-changing incorrect MLB, call, I think you can problem. overturn things now when you look at, like, Why a digital... Why can't every sport? Yeah. That's wild. Should I was You can't overturn. throw a challenge flag on most NFL penalties at this point, which is fucking yeah. insane. Dude... You can't throw. Yeah, I mean, we we lost uh, a perfect game to the the Tigers because uh, it was at uh, Angel. What was it? Yeah, Heren, uh, Hernandez. The the problem with the Chiefs thing is it's the same ref who have made like four game changing calls in different games. It's the same ref every time. So what what happens? The issue becomes get that ref out of their fucking game. Then why is that ref doing their games? Put that ref to somewhere else where he clearly doesn't give a fuck about the outcome of those two teams. Like, you need unbiased oh. refs, which is really hard. Uh, I mean, how many times through the years that they've busted people for <clears throat> gambling yeah. or, or fucking padding bets or whatever? It's insane. They, it happened in the NBA. Like, there were oh, yeah. big time a lot. in the NBA. Yeah, they had to. Um, there, there's documentaries about yes, that. Yes, there are, yeah. literally. And it's like, you got to, like, the the refs in the NFL aren't even full time refs, which is fucking crazy. Most of them aren't. Yeah, they still make a shirt on the one. And then, so you have people who aren't like fully invested because yeah. it's not their job. They have other shit going on, and it's just, it's I don't know. It's just wild. Jim Joyce. Okay, sorry. I thought due was... to logistics and travel costs, the NFL is a billion dollar private corporation, right? Oh, what what is what's the problem? Billions. We I think that's multi. We can't have like fucking a hundred refs on staff. There's yeah. no way we can't. There's no way we can't. There's no way we can't. There are probably multiple organizations that are worth billions in the NFL. Right. Yeah. And the NFL's private. Yeah. So they're privately worth a bill. Yeah. Not even public. Like, they can't pay refs. The refs, in theory, are the gatekeepers. They're the fucking key people. They hold the outcome to every game if they want to. Just pay them more. Truly. It's wild. It doesn't make any sense. It's insane. It's fucking insane. Hundred and sixty hundred and sixty three billion dollar billion. corporation. And they can't like afford airplanes for the refs. Is this what the problem? Can't get a jet or two? I just oh, like heartburn. guys, there's no fucking way. It's wild. I don't know. Listen, I'm sure there's great I refs. I think it's um, incredible refs, I'm sure. Anywhere that money can be made. Yeah, it will be made. will always yeah, be fair. an issue. That's yeah. fair. It's, it's it's not any sport. I mean, it goes through boxing, yeah. it goes through Oh, for sure. You're right. Yeah. Anything that there are bets to be made, there is going to be that draw. You know what I think is you know what I think is making it broken is how most states can bet online now. Like oh, this is it's a, a problem lot. now. Yeah. It's become a problem. Yeah. How's Ve- Vegas is that close on every bet? You're like, no, it's not. Like, they employ some smarter people. I, hundred percent. This is part of it. This yeah. is for sure part yeah. of it, right? But like, so Look the Colts. You, you. Who did the Colts shit. play last week? The fucking Falcons. Who did the fucking Colts play? I need this. Hold on. Sports betting is a cash cow. So the there's Colts, also the Colts like, played the Falcons. There's so, like a, a triple incentive at that point in time yeah. to work a script. Sure. Yeah. So the Colts play the Falcons last week, right? Yeah. Colts have been on fire. They're like five and one or yep. six and one. Yep. Like in their last seven or five, or whatever that is. Colts have been on fucking fire. Falcons are dog shit all year. Just fucking dog shit. Lions beat the fuck out of them. Everybody yeah. beat the fuck out of them. It's fine. Colts go into the game as a fuck getting points. Oh, I bet. It's like, wait, what? Why are the Colts getting like three? Oh, that makes sense. Going into the bat. Yeah. 
And the Falcons are awful. So this is the best underdog bet of the week is the Colts. Colts get blown the fuck out by the Falcons. You're like, what? The f- Excuse me? <laughs> uh, Atlanta hasn't beat a damn team worth of shit in a minute. The Colts have been blowing the shit out of everybody. It's insane. Blake said the Colts attempted to play the it's Falcons. The wild, yeah, it was yeah. 10 to 29 or 24 or something like that. It's like, how the fuck did the Colts get blown? It's like the Bears blowing up the Lions. You're like, what are we <sighs> doing? The Lions are the Lions from three years ago. All of a sudden, out of nowhere. It's yeah. just like, why? It's very, very weird. It's very weird. The I Lions do, had, like I said, I, I do believe there's a lot of, um, what do I want to say, like uncalculated uncertainty in sauce. all of sports. I mean, sauce. you have so many people working on the yeah. field at the exact it's same time yeah. that anything can happen. It's a lot. It but, is a lot. And listen, one team couldn't show up on a day, and another team doesn't show up. That's 100%. fair. That happens. Somebody gets hurt. That happens. Look, but when you Jets, watch some shit where people are like need it, kneeing it down instead of. Well, buddy, what was the game early in the season where somebody kicked a field goal and hit the spread because they kicked a field goal? Yeah. When they couldn't win. Yeah. They're down four touchdowns, three touchdowns. Yep. They kick a field goal, but it hits the spread. And like, mm, okay. Why'd you kick the field goal though? Yeah. Because it's not college. Because your coach had the goddamn right. spread. The, the yeah. score doesn't matter because in college, I get it. Yeah. In college, you're, you're trying to be as close rankings, as Yeah. In the NFL, it's a win or a loss. So that field goal doesn't mean shit. You throw the Hail Mary and you try to get the touchdown or you fucking knee it and don't yep. get anybody injured, you're done. You kick the 47 yard field goal. Excuse me? Mind you, I hit the spread on that field goal, so I'll <laughs> take it. But that's bullshit. It's like something's going on. I don't know. There's too many people to be scripted, right? This is the thing. Which one of us gets killed first? Me or it you? is too many people to By be the scripted. NFL. There's how big is there's what fucking 50 some people each team. Yeah. And that doesn't count staff. That's players. So there's a hundred and some people each organization, right? Is it that big for roster? Yeah. 150? What is it? 42, 48 after cuts in roster? That's not 150, buddy. No, no. That's players. That's not coaches and Okay, okay. That's what I want to say. I thought I was gonna say I thought the roster is under a hundred. The roster is like forty eight or what's the roster on a fifty three? There you go. Okay. So the roster's fifty three every year. I was like, So you figure an organization <laughs> is a hundred and some odd people. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Coaches, offensive coordinator, defensive I'm whatever. with you there then. So each organization's even just say a hundred. Three thousand some people, five thousand some people. Easy. In that range. Yeah. You're that many, not one leak. There's no way. It's yeah. not scripted. No. There's some fuckery. There, there, some I fuckery. mean, that's Rest why. fuck it up like the NBA. You know, so on and so forth. That's why the NFL always hits their spread. Always. always. Yeah. It's wild. Yeah. I bet on the Colts last week because they are playing the Falcons. Hey, man, that's a dumb bet. It's a free bet. Falcons blow them the fuck out. Excuse me, sir. What did Vegas know? Because Vegas had the Falcons as a favorite. So how does Vel... Does this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How are the Colts a dog? You know, they're talking they're to people bullshit, saying, hey, dude. so-and-so's not in the game. No. We're looking weak. Never been on the Colts? Bitch, I'm from Michigan. Like, you know, it's like, buddy, never been on the Colts. <laughs> you guys had Peyton fucking Manning, dude. Like, you guys had, what are you talking, you had one of the greatest quarterbacks ever to walk on oh, the favorite. field. We had Matt Stafford, I guess. We did have Barry Sanders, but I was barely alive for that. We had Kelvin we Johnson, Kelvin but Johnson. he wasn't the quarterback. Yeah. I don't, you know. Oh. <sighs> Don't bet on the, buddy. The Colts have been on fucking right. fire. I gotta go pee. We I gotta had go to pee we gotta for like an hour. Bye, everybody. All right. Um, I love you guys. Thank you bye. for being here. Love you guys. This might be possibly for real one of your last live streams from here for a while. Um, it's possible. Yeah, we'll see. It's possible. We uh, we had a little bit. It's possible. It is possible. It's though. actually very possible though. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Sean's gonna have a baby. I'm not. He might. We'll see. My wife is though. Imagine. I'm gonna have a heart attack. You'd be so rich, dude. You go on Oprah and shit. Is Alan still on? I don't think. I think I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. It's worth a shot. She's cooking that thing. <laughs> She's been cooking that thing, dude. Yeah. Good old nine monther. Yeah. Ten. <laughs> not ten. It's yeah, not it's ten. A pregnancy's ten months. No, I no. She's been pregnant for nine months right now. Over. She, no, she is not. Yeah. Well, nine in a cup. What a week. Okay, so forty weeks. Yeah. Figure four weeks to a month. It's almost ten months. But it doesn't work like that, though. Yeah, that's how it works. Doesn't. Yeah. So she's over nine months right now. Chrissy, don't 
Wait, hold on. I'm waiting for more chats to come in. I want to yeah. confirm or deny this. Mm-hmm. New Year's Eve. Every Honestly, months. it's right after. This is the due date, though. That's the crazy part. Yes, is it the ninth? Yes. Damn. I thought it's it was the fourth. Over I don't know why. nine months is pre- full pregnancy. You know, if wait. you go 40 weeks. <sighs> Ricky went deep in that fucking calendar, dude. Ricky held on. Oh, well, hold and held on. Ricky was ready. Hold and held. Titus is right. I do not have the hips for pregnancy. No, he doesn't. He grow them, though. He grow them, you know. Oh, damn. Yin's got, got 100. 100. 100 on New Year's Eve. What's that, Sunday? Yeah. If I get the... Hey, Yin's. If I get the text Sunday... Aaron's got 100 on Sutton. Aaron does? What, what was your other bet that you had tonight? I didn't have another bet. No, you said... Uh, you had something out there. Some team. Your team bet. I had a team bet? Yeah, team. Team? Team. Oh, yeah. What was my bet? Exactly. You're right. I did. What was it? Yes. Was it in the... Was it football bet? It was football. It was football. Someone... Someone remind? And uh, Will said I'm correct. Well, I mean, your math work is the problem. Normally. Yeah. Most yeah. no, of right now. is usually shit. Yeah. No, someone told me this, though. If I need so. calc, I, I'm going to text you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sean, baby, could have the... Oh, dude, imagine if you had the first baby. Don't you get paid a shit ton for that? No. No one gives a shit. Can I tell you what? Hey, Gabby's sleeping. You got to yeah, gotta yeah. tell her to get that thing out of there. What? Because your deductible's hit, dude. It's got to be. Yeah. No, no, no. I need after the Tax first. break? No. Yeah. You, no, no. Deductible's reset in the first, buddy. So you need pre-first. No, no. Yeah, then you don't have to pay shit. You're done. You already hit your deductible this year. But it resets. I want it after the first. You want to re-hit it? You but never it, try to hit. Your we deductible. didn't hit our deductible this year. Really? Yeah. Damn. So if I hit it on oh, December thirty first, yeah, yeah. I would have to re-hit it on January first. No, you don't want thirty first. You want like twenty eighth. So that sounds like I hit Gives the deductible twice. No, I don't know. Give you some time. Or on January first. Well, you hit it every year from here on out. You yeah, that's fine. After this. But on yeah. January first, I get to hit the deductible oh. then. And you then haven't hit it. Why would I? You have hit your deductible. Yeah, probably. A hundred percent. Yeah. Too many appointments. Yeah. They cost a kajillion dollars. Deductible's already met. Americans fucking health insurance. Good job, guys. You really figured this one out for us. You fucking asshole. I'd rather hit the deductible on January 1st, and then tax everything's break. good. No. I get the tax break next year, too. But you get it this year. It'll be the same next year. It will be, but you get it two years if you but get But if it I already hit the deductible on January 1st, That's a bummer. every follow-up, good. Me, when I never really die, <laughs> I, I got to go to the doctor a lot now. Um, Wait, okay, hold on. It's, yeah, I, Jens, I am correct on this. I what? am. You do When you hit the deductible, you want to clear it that year. And you get the tax break twice if you do it this year. He said, Sean's right on deductible. Tax write-off is less. What do you mean? Jens said, if deductible is met already, go this year. He he contradicted himself. Oh, I don't know. That's wild. Dude. Probably. Our deductible is not that high. The um. Yeah, you guys have you got you got government insurance. Yeah. insurance. yeah, that's good shit. That's why. That's the only. That's the benefit for the government. Yeah, I probably get hit by a fork truck. Um, um, right. Well, normally it beeps when we back up. In, not and always yet, though. Not always. You though. took out plumbing. The and new one will be. Trust me. You took out plumbing. Um, and a pump, the, no beeping. Uh, Garrett, it does not carry over. I can tell you that right now. Um, because we, we met our deductible on Holden, and then it was, came in February. Yeah. We, we remet our deductible in February, so we yeah. paid two deductibles, two years deductibles covered one baby. You know what I mean? Um, we have a business. That's the, the that, deductible. You know what? It doesn't fucking matter, does it? Yeah, we've just been fucking. That tax write off <laughs> is um. Yeah, I've had two. It's not helping. You're yeah. right. I've had two, and it's rocked. Um, okay, here's the thing. Really quick. There was one other thing I want to say before we left, and it was a comment that reminded me that. I don't know. Sean might have a baby any day now. Well, Gabby might don't have a baby me. any day now. Sean yep. will, in theory, be there. I will baby. be there, 100%. Yeah, hopefully. I'll be playing on my Switch. <laughs> there's, dude, there's no way. That Switch will be broken in fucking half if you're playing that Switch in that room. It's going to be a long time. Probably. Yeah. If you play the Switch, you'll lose the Switch. You're going to lose it. 
You're willing to buy another one, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not teachers. It's a bet I'm willing to, <laughs> to make. Te- <laughs> teachers is going live after this. Teachers, post your link, buddy. I saw you post it earlier. Holy shit, dude. Uh, she's an uh, optima- oh, no, fuck. optometrist. There you go. Whole- I almost said ophthalmologist, but no. You she's an optometrist. You should have thrown that over my way. I'd have slaughtered the fuck out of that word. Ophthalmologist? I wouldn't have done a good job. I wouldn't have done a good <laughs> job. I've done a bad job. She's an optometrist. All right, listen. Right there, teachers are going live. If you want to hang out with teachers, go hang out with teachers. It's right there. Up. You can go hang out, have some drinks with Cheech. Enjoy your evening. Do another round with him. We, um, there will be a live stream either for sure. It'll be posted ahead of time, but it will either be on the second we'll let you know. or the ninth. I yep. will, even if Sean has a baby, I will be live because we are setting something up currently. So, with Alec. So, there, there will be a live. Now, when Sean is gone, when Sean's, Definitely okay. when Sean's away, I'm going to be playing. You know what I mean? I'm going to I'm gonna get a list of things. I'm I changing the fucking locks on that distillery. I'll figure that out. Don't worry about it. If you are thinking I won't break a lock to break some other shit. I'll call the cops on you. <laughs> you don't own the building. My name's on it. Mm-mm. I'll call Nick Jones. My name's on all of it. I'll call Nick Jones <laughs> and say, hey, Nick, keep you know him what do? the fuck no, out. No, Nick will fly up and live in there. <laughs> you don't want that either. Actually, that's worse for us. You know what? That's your worst move. Right uh, there. Yeah, that, you know it, too. That's the best part. He'll put his golden pig in there, and then after he puts his golden pig in there, he'll try to drink every barrel that we own. Well, good news. He'll die. Oh, it's going to smell bad. You ain't getting that smell out. Yeah, you're going to have to Every barrel? Him. Buddy, you can't drink one barrel. He'll try. No. He'll find the honey Can you one. imagine drinking oh, one barrel, though? has gone, though. That's a bummer. Because he'll do that. One barrel, though? He'll figure it out. If it's a full barrel, even say 40 gallons yeah, even say of 40 whiskey. Gallons. How long? It's 200 bottles. A year. You have cirrhosis afterwards, but a year. Love you guys. Oh! Friday, what's Friday? If you want to pick a bottle up at the distillery and you're in the general area, you can just do it Friday. We're going to do every other. But uh, I was talking to Luke about this Friday. I might just go over there this Friday. So somebody will be there this Friday. If you want to pick something up, it'll be there. It won't be me. The only things that are there this week are the Americans right now. So, um, but if you want to pick up yeah. an American 2, there's some American 2s there. America 2. Have some drinks. Um, the bottles that we opened at the last one are still at the on the counter there, the counter. So We did kill a rye one last time. It's great. Yeah, we did. Yeah. That's good, dude. Yeah. Rye one's good. Yeah. Damn. A little special shit. Fucking love that. You said rye 3 was better. No, I think rye 3 was better. That's wrong. It's close. It's not even remotely close. But do you realize if we ever find another rye one type barrel, we will be seventy bottles ecstatic though. No, we'll be exceedingly sad. Oh man, <laughs> I think I, I under loved rye one when we found it. I know you did. I should have loved it more because now every time we open a bottle, I think it's All right. maybe my. I'm favorite. going to the bathroom. Love you guys. Love you guys. We're, we're shutting it down. See you guys later. Cheers. Have a good night. Go hang out with cheaters. Link at the top. Just click the link. Take you right over there. Right one is Matt's number one for 2023. Wait, Chrissy Newberry said that. Wait, is it really? the fr- This Friday or the 5th? This Friday. December 29th, is it? Yeah, 9th. If you're around on the 9th, just come by between like 10 and fucking, I don't know, 10 and 2. Let's do that. 10 a.m., 2 p.m., Friday. See you then. Cheers, everybody. At the dessert. You can Google Maps for Juicy Birds. It'll pop up. Freedom, Michigan. Cheers, everybody. For real. Love you guys. Thank you for hanging out. See ya.